This is Ouroboro. He's a content creator for FromSoft Games that's been around for a very long time. I've been watching him for years now, and I'm personally a huge fan of his stuff. He recently uploaded a weapon tier list that my chat thought had some odd placements on it. They eventually got me to watch it, and as you can tell by the runtime of this video, I had some things to say. And now come on, don't worry, Ouroboro knows I'm doing this and is completely fine with it. He even jump scared me in my chat when I was finished with the video. You know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna message him about it. Maybe send him a clip or two of the video, something like that. Oh, hi! How you doing, Ouroboro? How you doing, bud? Hi! <laughs> hi, Ouroboro, how you doing, dude? I, uh, I liked your tier list. If you can't tell by my fucking recording, y'all can barely see this, but like, it's two hours and 50 minutes on there. <laughs> on the recording, so I definitely had a lot to say. Please go check out Oro's channel in the description. He's a great guy and a good pillar of this community. Now, you're in for a long one, so go get some popcorn, pop this on your second monitor, and just enjoy the video. Y'all have a great day. All right, fuck it. We're watching it. The Oro the here, and too today we're chat. making an Armored Core 6 weapon tier list. I have 91 Ugh. weapons. I'll get the get the lobby going on strain for ADHD gamers. I can do that, yeah. Never heard of Aura before Elden Ring. They've been around for fucking forever. They've been around since uh, Dark Souls 1, I believe. Or maybe even before Demons. Or like uh, when Demons happened. I am a content creator. I am not a god tier PvP player like some other people like Mood. I'm not, you know, top 10 player material. But there are some takes here that I don't agree with. Or at least I'm not sure because I haven't seen the reasoning yet. We looked at the we looked at the tier list already. I did get spoiled on it. I already looked at it. And I just want to know the reasoning. There's nothing wrong with Ouroboro. Nothing like that. I just want to say that right now. There's nothing wrong with Ouroboro. I'm actually a big fan of Ouro's content. I've been watching him for a long time now, since like Dark Souls 3 days. I'm a big fan of Ouroboro. Let's see what, let's see what the reasoning is, because Chad has said some really crazy things about this. So let's see what's going on. Hey guys, Oro here, and today we're making an Armored Core 6 weapon tier list. I have 91 weapons to tier. This is going to take a while, but hope you're strapped in, ready for some fun. We're going to go over every single weapon in the game. Let's do it. Oro's decent. Oro's not bad at the game. All right. As far First as I know, up, Oro's not bad Rensetsu at the game. Let's see what's RF, happening. not to be confused with the Rensetsu AR. Um, this thing... Now, I'm going to give my take on the weapon before Oro gets into it, just so I'm not like blatantly just ripping off Oro's content here. I'm being transformative. I'm not just stealing content. And putting my fucking face cam in the bottom in the bottom right like some youtubers will do rensetsu rf i fucking love this weapon this weapon's so fun i did the uh i did the rensetsu trapper build with it that was a uh, seventh gem leaders build and it was really really fun i enjoyed the hell of this weapon i don't think it's the best i'd probably give it about like a i don't know like a b tier or something like that when it comes to like the actual meta because if we're talking about like no bans tournaments like we're talking about nothing's been banned no restrictions no rules no nothing you would never run Rensetsu. You would just never do it. It's just, it's not best in class whatsoever. You just run it. If you're looking for a linear rifle that does a lot of damage, you'd run Harris or you'd run something like a uh, Curtis. You'd run something like that. Just use Burst Energy. Exactly. If you want to use something like that, you just run the, the Astugin or the, uh, or like the Cock Wallet or the Ducket. You just, you would never use this weapon. But if you had to use the weapon, you can make it work. So I'd put it in B. B for me would be like, you can make this work against meta builds. It's just going to be hard. If that makes sense. That's what I would go. Thing is really good, especially after the recent patch. Um, I did. I don't know if it needed a buff. It's it's one of the best rifles in the game. Um, but it's still not. I extremely disagree. I think it definitely needed a buff. Uh, I do agree that Rensetsu RF was probably the better of the linear rifles, which is why it's probably the best one right now. Uh, I mean, you still have the Harris, of course, but if you're looking for something with that niche, you would just run the Harris. Though, like. The Rensetsu RF is not meta. Like, it, it does need a buff. Like, it, I think it needs even more, honestly, to keep up with the other weapons. Like, I, I, I wouldn't run this if I was trying to win. If my goal for my content was to just win every match, I would never run it. Rensetsu isn't a linear rifle, it's a burst rifle. I mean, yeah, but like, I'm talking about in that niche though, Vic. Like, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I, I am stupid when it comes to that, but this doesn't matter right here. Because what I'm what I'm using it for is not the charge attack. I'm using it for just the regular shot. Charge attack is good because it, it combos off for kick, but you can't. You can, man's making a two-hour review of three-minute tiers. I'll cut it down, okay? <laughs> not great. It does In play linear. Exactly. Um, 
I would put this. I think I'm going to put it B tier. I don't think it belongs okay. in A. I agree with that. Because rifle. Now, I will say, wild that you said it didn't need a buff, but then you put it in B tier after it got a buff. That's kind of wild to me. I will say. Uh, it's crazy. I, I don't understand why. First of all, I need to know what the. This is my issue with uh, with tier lists in general. It's like, what do these tiers mean? Like, what is what is the context of this tier list? Are we talking about like what is meta? Like, what would you run on a build in a tournament? Or are we talking about like what, like how good the weapon is in a vacuum? Because we're talking about like weapons. You have to keep in mind you have four weapons here. You got an add. Uh oh, we have four weapons in this game. We have two shoulder weapons, which can also be just be two hand weapons. Then we have two hand weapons. Rensetsu RF is good as a long-range poke. But more like a mid-range poke, but you understand what I mean. It's like you have things you can combo with it. Like, kick in the Rensetsu Burst Rifle uh, charge is really strong. It's a decent amount of damage. But, like, you just you would never fucking run it, ever. Those just aren't super... Exactly. That, that I put... I gave y'all, like, actual, like, context for everything. I did, like, my, my first year, meta. This is what you'd run in a no-bands tournament. You'd run these, these, this, these weapons. Bottom, unusable. You would never run these in a meta tournament. And then C was like pile bunker, like if you want to clip somebody in a tournament, you would go with that. Uh, B was like really strong damage, but inconsistent, so you wouldn't run it. Uh, A was like really good, not meta, but very, very strong. For grain. But I think, wow, I think you're still the first fucking gun. For because them. the thing is, the thing is Grum Grum, I, when I react to something, I'm not just gonna sit here and watch it. I'm not gonna sit here and just look at the camera and be like, whoa, that's crazy. Because I'm not XQC. I'm not Sniper Wolf, I'm not XQC. I'm someone who knows a decent amount about this video game, so I'm going to actually I'm going to actually give y'all my feedback and I'm gonna talk about the weapon for hours. This is why I didn't do, by the way, this is why I did not fucking do a gigantic tier list like this. I, I didn't do that because it would be three hours long, which is what this video is going to be. Next up is the Curtis Linear Rifle. Oh man, this... Okay, before they talk about theirs, I'm gonna give my opinion on it. I think Curtis is fantastic. I think the charge shot on this, if you wanna use charge shot with a rifle, you have to go with Harris or Curtis. Curtis is probably my favorite linear rifle to use besides Renzetsu RF. It's uh, it's honestly just a, well, let me tell you guys, again, it's a burst rifle, but I think it counts as a linear rifle because you barely ever use the charge shot on it. You never do, you never use that. Uh, but Curtis, I think is a really fun weapon. I don't think it's very good. I'd probably put it like below the Renzetsu and B tier. Again, you can make it work. We just saw Weasel make it work. If you were here on Twitch, if you're not, then uh, we just saw, we just saw, uh, was it Weasel? Was it Fumsy? Somebody, somebody was using it and they were making it work. It's, it's a very fun weapon. It's just not meta. It's not meta. It's not like off meta. Well, it is off meta by definition, but it's not like close to meta. It is just a fun weapon that you can make it work. This thing sucks. It was you. Okay, so it was um, Weasel then. I was right. I have used this thing extensively. This thing sucks. And no. Compared to everything else, it's just so so bad it got buffed it did um but so so bad i wouldn't say that really really pathetic honestly that's very, this is d tier i have to put it in d -tier. that's very harsh that's extremely harsh oh my gosh that's like i mean Let's think about the context here. Okay, so if Orbo is fighting nothing but like dual zim quad kick or like dual zim dual stun needle, then maybe I could see this. But like, then why is Rensetsu RF not also D tier? Like that, I'm I'm confused. It it sucks. It's bad. And um, yeah, Oro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Talon. Oro doesn't run rules, so they're playing they're playing meta constantly. I I play I play a decent amount of this game off stream for footage and also just to the, play the game because I'm having fun with the game, and I I play against meta builds like a decent amount, and Curtis isn't that bad when it, you're, you're dealing with that. It's not like Rensetsu is definitely not up here. If you're putting the Curtis down here, Rensetsu's there's no fucking way it's up here. So weird. It's now a weird place we're gonna go for its bigger brother, the Harris. Now I love the Harris. I think if I were go I were to make a Scutum build, the one with like the big great shield, I'd run the Harris with that as well. And just hold I have like a hold S kind of build or hold back kind of build. Uh Harris is actually really fucking strong. It's a really good direct hit damage, like stagger, like stagger punish weapon. Really fucking strong. I really, really like it. Now the, I'm Harris. A big fan of the Harris. I would say it's probably B tier. I do agree with that. It's above their Nsetsu RF, definitely. But again, 
if we're going by the tiers of being like B is off meta fun, not off meta like like good kind of things. Like if these are not like these are things that you can make work against meta. Paris is definitely is like top of B tier. Really for me. good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it straight into B tier. This thing really packs a punch. You can't. You can't say, this thing is really good, I'm gonna put it in B tier. What are the context, what is the context of your tiers, my guy? Like, what, is it in the description? Did he put in the description what his context is? No. What do the tiers mean? What do the tier? what do the tiers mean? Uh, You're not giving me anything. pretty quick, uh, especially if you got two of them. Again, I wanna say this, just to ward off the comments on this video. I love Oro. Oro is a wonderful dude. Oro's awesome. I'm a huge fan of his. I've been watching him for forever. I've actually... I how long have I been watching Or? Let me check real quick. This was one of the first videos I watched from Orboro. Was when yeah. uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Like, uh, th this build right here. I think there was one earlier than this, though. That was on regular Dark Souls that I watched for the first video. But this is one of the first Orboro videos I watched. I fucking love this dude. Orboro is awesome. But this w type weapon tier list makes no sense if you don't have context for your tiers. That's the one subject. Yeah, 2013. S meta, A strong, B off meta, C weak, unplayable. Now, Talon, if that's your guess... He is really good. I'm gonna... Really good, I would say, is strong, right? Go ahead right? and put it straight into B tier. This thing really packs a punch. Hey, uh, it I don't... staggers pretty quick, uh, especially if you got two of them. It's really good. I don't good. understand. Uh, its charge attack is good, too. Not bad at all. It's just, it's just the better, Curtis. It's the better linear rifle, without a doubt. I mean, if it's the better Curtis, I understand what you mean. Like, Curtis is down here, but if it's just a straight-up better Curtis, then how does it jump up two tiers unless it's way better than Curtis? Next, we got the Turner Assault Rifle, the starting assault rifle when you start the game. This thing is... Turner is okay. I'm fine with it. I, I, it's like, it's, it's the most not offensive assault rifle in the entire game. It's like, it's okay in my opinion. If I were going again by like, A is, you know, I should probably put this on screen actually. Actually, let me put this on screen. Let me do this real quick, guys. Yeah, let's do that. I, I'm down with that. Okay, so now we now we have my tiers again. S is meta with wood tournaments. Off, I put fucking off Mets. Oh my god, that's fucking funny as hell. Let me change that real quick. <laughs> off Mets, <laughs> love the Mets, baby. Let's go Mets. The right is distracting your left. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, I'm I'm cool with there because it's already next to the distracting thing that you should probably not look at. The fucking subway surfers shit I have. Off meth? No, I put off meta. I I could see it. Okay, so you're off your meds. <laughs> so my tiers when it comes to a tier list like this, I would go with like S is meta that you would see that in tournament all the time. You would you see it win tournament stuff like that. A is off meta, but you would see it in tournaments. So like stuff like the twin blade we saw, Ty guy use that and do really well with it. You would see uh, stuff like let's see what's another good example. Uh, you would see stuff like Aperitif there. You would see that in tournament, but it wouldn't like be running the tournament, stuff like that. B is strong, but you wouldn't see it in a serious game. So stuff like, uh, like Pal Bunker, you wouldn't see in a serious game, I don't think, even though it is very, very strong. You wouldn't see something like, uh, let's see, what's another good example? You wouldn't see something like a Stugin, but it is very strong, but you wouldn't see it in tournament. Stuff like that. Like Harris, I think would work well in a B tier, but again, it's crazy to me. No, I'm just going to keep going with my tears. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm going to get AH brain, AH brain like, like, uh, overwhelm me here. Uh, C is overall weak, but better than D. So like, these weapons are just like, you know, outclassed by something. Or maybe they're just not. Like, you would never use them if you're trying to optimize your build. And then D is just useless. Never fucking run these things. They're terrible. Never, ever touch them. They're bad. They need a buff really badly. All right, let's keep going with the tier list. Let's see what's going on. This is absolutely useless. It is terrible. This is probably the worst gun in the game. If I had a... Turner reverse gun in the game. Really? I wouldn't say that. That's very harsh. I put like I put it in like C. I'd say it's not the worst weapon in the game. I would I would say it's like, you know, it, it's decent. Like you could make it you could make it work, but it's not strong. Does that make sense? Like it's just it is, you know, it's okay. An F tier? We we tried it, we tried it whenever the patch came out, Mongo. We we did try out the Turner, and it honestly did decently well. It did decently well. I would probably save it for the Turner. It is essentially useless. I hate it. Really? Next, essentially we got the useless. Scudder. I hate Slightly it. Slightly less useless. Now the Scudder is just a the Scudder is just a better Turner for the most part. I'd probably put it above the Turner in C. I wouldn't say it's like terrible, but it's definitely it's a fun weapon. I, I'd be down with that. 
It's a, it's a fun weapon. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not horrible. It's just okay. But still pretty bad. We're going to put it straight into C tier. Assault rifles just aren't good. Even after the buff, they still really need a lot. Wait, so why, why is Turner the worst weapon in the game? But the direct upgrade, it's not even that big of an upgrade. Oh, Scudder is too good. <laughs> it's a very funny name. It is a very funny name. Uh, if the direct upgrade, because the upgrade isn't that, that big, right? Like the stat, the stat jump isn't that, isn't that huge. Why is Scudder better than Curtis? If we're talking about that, like I would love, to, um, I need to know just, what these tiers mean, Ouroboros. They're in a really weird spot. Um, again. Hey, turn to do R A R A R higher than the Turner. That gun actually cannot trigger ACS just drain on its own. I mean, there are a few guns like that in this game that can't can't trigger ACS drain on its own. Like I believe, uh, like pre-buff Ludlow couldn't, I believe. They're they're usable, but it's but just it still wasn't useless. I mean, great. you can just get it. You can just now maintain we got the Rensetsu with it, which is nice. AR burst rifle. Um, this thing's real. Rensetsu AR, I feel like is a lot worse than the Rensetsu RF. It's not terrible, but it's fun. Like again, I would say it's probably like in <sighs> terrible. Ter really, do people not like this thing? I haven't played around it like too much. I haven't played around with it too much. Is it really by? Is it really that bad? All right. Well then, I, I will. I will. You know what? I will. I will side with chat then. If y'all say it's horrible, then I'm gonna say it's horrible. So I'll put that in D tier then. Really good. We're talking about like my this thing's theoretical really good. tier list it's here. Not... That did not just happen. Everyone in my chat is saying how bad this thing is. And then Orbo is like, this thing's really good. This thing's really good. Oro, bro, no. Okay. I will say, chat. I will say. Okay. I think I think this is the issue. This is the main issue I have with this video. It's too early for this. It's way too early. What's up, Alfheimer, by the way? Welcome in. It is way too fucking early for this tier list. It is way, 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 way too early for this. We haven't even had a patch yet. I also keep in mind, this is a 50 minute video. We have no idea how long he's uh how long he's been working on this. This could be this would be like three days when he started this tier list. When he actually put recorded this and sat down and recorded it. Like this has been yeah, but content. Yeah, but like it's going to be useless content. You understand what I mean? Like, this is not teaching anyone anything because it's not, like... The PvP batch will also waste the spit. Yeah, that's why... That's why I did a melee weapon tier list. I feel like those won't be, like, touched very much in, like, the actual PvP, tier, PvP patch. Like, we'll see, like, nerfs to Zim, stuff like that. I did a melee weapon tier list because I'm passionate about melee stuff. I know melee stuff. And it's too... It's, like, it's small enough where I feel like I can make accurate... Uh, accurate flames for each weapon. But... Yeah, but true generic. I mean, you're right. Yes, it is good clickbait. It is good stuff like that. But it's like this is, it's too early for this fucking tier list. It's way too early. Amazing. But it's amazing. Pretty good. Oh, this is a hard. Good. This is a hard decision. Okay, what? Because I want to put it in B. Like I really want to put it in B, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's C tier. You can't. You can't say it's really good. It's amazing. C tier. You can't do that. It's not possible. That doesn't make any sense. Ugh, is it really as good as confusing? Scudder? I'm so mm, confused. It is really, it's, it's... Ah, uh, this is a hard choice. By the way, guys, this is why for all my tier lists, I'm gonna be having them, like, sectioned off for, like, you know, this is the shotgun tier list. This is the AR tier, tier list. This is the pistol tier list, that kind of stuff. I wouldn't do something like this because this doesn't make any sense. This is completely useless information. If I'm looking for a mid-range option, and I want a linear rifle for that option. I will look for the best linear rifle. This tier list doesn't tell me what the best linear rifle is. This tier list is telling me how good a weapon is in a completely just arbitrary style. Like this makes no sense, right? Also, thanks for the quest. <laughs> My God, guys, calm down. I think I'm gonna put it in B tier. I think I'm gonna put it in B tier. <sighs> Cause it's, it's not terrible. There are worse guns. You. Now, I'm gonna pause it here. My reaction is pretty funny to this. I, uh, I'm not mad at Ouroboro. It's just the word choice here makes no sense to me. We actually had a theory later on in the stream that it was two separate recordings, but he talks about how amazing this gun is and then puts it in B tier saying there are worse things you can use. It's very confusing word choice here. 
Again, I'm not mad at Ouroboro. I want no beef with Ouroboro, nothing like that. Ouroboro is a great dude, fantastic content creator. But the word choice here just doesn't make much sense. It's, you're talking about how amazing a gun is, and then you're saying, it's all right, there's worse things that you can use. It just doesn't make much sense here. I'm gonna leave my action in, because my action's really funny. I'm just a very expressive person. So I can come off as very mean or aggressive or angry when I really am not. I'm just not even playing up for chat. I'm just playing it up for myself, if that makes sense. I'm a very expressive dude. And you you, you understand, if you've ever came by the stream, if you've ever came by the stream, you know how expressive I can be. You know how like energetic I am. I, I bounce off the walls constantly during stream. So again, I'm not being angry. I'm not like upset, especially now. I just wish the word choice was a bit clearer here. And the, the point of this video is to give feedback to Ouroboro and feedback to other people who want to make a tier list. That's the idea. You can't. They're being recorded. They're being recorded at two separate times. That's my that's my current theory. My current theory is that there are two separate recordings. One is where Oro talks about the weapon and looks at it. And the second is like when he like later on, like maybe like a day later, he's actually going into the tier maker and making and like putting these weapons in the tiers. That's my that's my theory right now. So they're saying like two different things, two rapid, two like very, very different, like drastically different things. Cause they're they're having like a day to sleep on it. This tier list for the weapons he likes or dislikes, it seems. Yes, but he didn't tell us that. That doesn't that the tiers don't make any sense. He has not told us what these tiers mean. Like when I did my mail again, when I did my mail weapon tier list, I had very, very well defined tiers. I will say. I'm not mad at Oro. I'm not mad at Oro. Oro is awesome. I'm a big fan. What's up, Fury, by the way? Welcome in. I'm not mad at Oro. Oro's an amazing content creator. I love Oro. I love watching their content. I'm going to keep watching their content. And just, just to prove there's no bad blood, I'm going to like the video. I'm going to like the video. I'm already subscribed. I've been subscribed. Hell, I'll fucking put the bell on. Fuck it. I love Ouroboro. Ouroboro is awesome. I'm a huge fan of him. I've been watching him for years, like four or five years now. I fucking love Oro. But this is making me lose my, my, exactly, Weasel, this is making me lose my sanity. You can't say, this gun's amazing, this gun's incredible, and then say, there are worse things you could use. Uh, I'll put it in B tier, like that. My brain hurts. You can't do that. Now on to the Ludlow SMG. This thing with its buff is really damn good. Insta B tier for me. Um. The Ludlow's fine. It's like, it's unoff it's not offensive. It's like, it's okay. It's not terrible. I don't know why it's an insta B tier. I'd probably put this thing in C. It's weak. You can make it work, but there's just better things to run. Well, let's, let's change this real quick. So let's just run weak, but outclassed. Weak, but outclassed is what I'm gonna do. Outclassed, there you go. So update to the, update to what I'm talking about. It's weak, but outclassed. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever run it on a build. Besides, like, clickbait stuff, like, I, like, you know, to, like, Lud like, the Ludlow has been buffed in Armor Core 6, and I'll show off the, the, uh, the stuff for it. It's just, man, is higher damage, though? Yeah, but, like, it's the impact that I care about. If I'm running an SMG, I'm, I'm running it to stagger. You know what I mean? This thing absolutely shreds from close range. Um, it is nasty now, the impact damage it does, especially with two of them, especially with bullet orbits. Is it, is it nasty? Is it? I don't know if it's nasty. Ooh. I, I, I don't know if it's nasty. Like half a second stuns. It's actually nuts. The Chang Chang. Half a second stuns? I don't think that's correct at all. I guess a lightweight, maybe, if you're like right up in their face the whole time. And machine gun is next. Blood okay, I actually like the Chang Chen a lot. This thing got buffed to its reload speed. I really like it, actually. I, I, I really enjoy this this weapon. I think it's really fun. It's terrifying to go up against with, like, dual Chang Chans, because, like, the reload speed buff was, like, super freaking good for this weapon. It's exactly what it needed, because the reload time on this thing was horrible. It was terrible. It took forever to reload. 
but I, I think it's legitimately pretty good. I, I would run if I'm looking for a machine gun. I would I would go to the the Chang Chen. I really would. Better than the students, probably not. But I I they're kind of like too different for that. If we're talking about just like pure, I'm gonna try to get get a uh, get a stun on you. Then I I would probably yeah I, I'd say it's it's. I don't know, because one's a burst rifle, one's a burst like SMG, one's a machine gun. It's weird. It's like, basically, it's a baby cat, basically, is what it is. The change stats, It's a baby cat. Enjoy Bigger it. mag. It's got worse stats overall. Yeah, I'd say probably B. It's good, but you would never see it in tournament. But you would never see it Way bigger mag. 15 extra Low bullets. A, really, Grim Grim. Honestly, in this game, it's enough to make the difference between being really, really good and just great. You talking about mag size? Big bigger mag. mag Fifteen X. Big. You talking about the Ludlow? Big brother. Decent stats. I don't think it got a mag size increase. Bigger mag. It's got worse stats overall, but. Oh, talking about Ludlow versus Kenji. Way I bigger see, okay. mag. Fifteen extra bullets. Honestly, in this game, it's enough to make the difference. Yeah, mag size matters a lot in this game. I will say, because like downtime is so important here. Because when the whole game, when the whole like started, like, the whole game is based around getting a stagger off. Being able to keep up that consistent damage is really, really important. It's like super duper strong to be able to do that. So I do agree with this. Mag size is really fucking important, which is why I think the Chang Chen, again, it's B tier. It's really strong, but you would never see in a serious Between game. Between being really, really good and just great. Um, this thing, honestly, I think is now one of the best weapons in the game. I'm going to put it eight. One of the best weapons in the game, you say? I would not say that. I am... You are never seeing this in tournament. You are never seeing this in tournament. No, you put it in A, not an S, not an S. It's not an S, but it, it's like... I mean, if you say one of the best weapons in the game, it would be S tier, right? At least, like, in my mind. I would not say it's A. That makes no sense Here. to me. This thing absolutely shreds. The ability to keep that pressure on through stuns, through everything, is invaluable. I think it's actually insanely strong. This is my first A-tier weapon, 100 I think what might be happening here is that my my S and A-tier might be a lot smaller than Ouroboros. I, I did see the full tier list, but I didn't, I, I don't remember anything about it. Uh, I, I, I remember, like, Parasawa being an S, which is crazy to me, but I, uh, maybe their A-tier is just huge? Maybe that's the issue? I don't know. 100%. Now we're at the burst machine gun at Sujin. Uh, this, I love the Astujin. This thing is fantastic. Like the next video I make will probably be on the Astujin. I fucking love this thing. I was, I was legitimately scared about uh, like Astujin getting a buff, especially a very substantial buff, because I already thought it was pretty good. I thought it was like you know a solid, you know, a solid weapon, and then Astujin got like a crazy buff, and I was like, whoa, Astujin might be crazy now. So I'd say that yeah. It, a tier probably not not possibly s i wouldn't say it's s tier it's not in the it's not in the rank of like zimmerman or plasma thrower or stuff like or like stun needle i'd say it's probably a solid a tier like middle really of good. a tier i think this thing's really good that's a good point diablo because you have to keep in mind i'm a caster i cast tournaments i haven't casted one since we won tournament i plan on casting more tournaments in the future and you know hosting my own tournaments stuff like that i'm thinking about like this is in like a high competitive setting but he's, he's talking about just casual you know casual no bands play then yeah, a bunch more things will be really good. You know, I'll, I'll, yeah, a lot more things will be good. That makes sense. Instant B tier. Um, not really too much to say about it. It's a good weapon. Try it out. You'd be surprised. I, w uh, I wouldn't yeah. say B tier, especially below Ludlow, bro. Below Lud's Ludlow and Bunstetsu AR, bro. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say I put this thing above the Cheng Chen even. The tiers aren't ordered. Are they not? Yes. The dreaded. Are they not ordered? Cause that I I have so many issues with fucking tiers aren't ordered. Why are the tiers not ordered? That's the whole. That's like half the tier list. A tier list is rows and columns. If you're putting it, if you're just caring about the rows, you're doing half the work of a tier list. Your tier list means even less now, because it is for clicks. I mean, I guess, but like, man. I hate when it's just- I hate that argument, though. I hate that it's just for- I bumped- I hit my mic so hard, so I apologize. I hate the argument that it's just for clicks that makes no sense to me. Uh, Gatling Gun, the Huben, this thing is S tier. This thing is fucking crazy. Uh, I think this is S tier for now. This is an early meta thing. I think later on it'd be more of an A tier. Because people will get better at playing around it. Because this thing's range is not very good. 
So I, I think this is definitely an, an A tier, but I'd say it's S for now just because it's early game. Gatling gun. Oh, this is a, this is a hot topic. I'm, I want to put it in B tier and I know people are going to be like, what? Now that's crazy. B is a bit crazy than me. I agree with A. I'd, I'd say you could use this in tournaments. I say that they're against really good players. You're not going to do really well with it. There were better things to run against really good play, good players. A single human is per, pretty firmly high B tier. I can agree with that, Victor. Big D. But like, hey, Grum, Grum, calm down a bit, my dude. We're not, again, we're not trying to be mean here. Uh, I could agree with that, Vic D, just be running a single one. But like, I'd say it's probably A tier right now. Like it just, I don't know, like S tier right now because it's early days. But I think it'll become A and maybe even B. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're just seeing into the future that I'm not. But I, I, I would legitimately see Gatling guns Why? use a decent amount in but tournament. It's just so easy to play around in PVP especially you know you, the second you see they have a gatling gun you just back up they're a lot like shotguns except way less lethal um you just back up is not a super great argument here i feel like because a lot of the really strong weapons in the game are very close range we think it's something like pulse blade we think of something like coral oscillator we think of something like uh dual zermans oh look at that uh plasma thor like the some, some of the best weapons in the game are close range so saying you just back up, like, eh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. When most really good builds in this game, like uh, you see in tournaments, are close range. Getting close one time, I guess that's true, Alfheimer. That's that is true. Even several games to see their high recoil makes them iffy at mid range. See that. It's way harder to stay in close range consistently than to get in close range once, aka shotguns. So okay. honestly, I, I don't actually, think I'm not with that powerful. argument. They do a lot of damage. You know what? I, I think I think in my mind has been changed. I think what Chad has said and what uh, Orbo has said right there. I think I think that's accurate. I'd, I'd say probably B then. But you have to be close. I think they he's are right. Absolutely useless at anything but close range, and close range is dominated by shotguns. So yeah, I'm down with that. You know I what? I will, oh, that's a good I will argument. put them in A tier. I'm down with that. This is an A tier weapon. You can't say. You can't make a convincing argument and then immediately double back on it. You can't do that. You can't do that, Ouroboro. You can't be like, I'm going to put it in B tier. Here's my argument. It's a very sound argument. And it actually, it convinced me. I was like, you know what? You're right. I think it should be B tier. You're right about that, Oro. And they go, actually, fuck all that things I just said. Fuck everything I just said. Don't pay attention to it. I'm going to put it in A tier. It belongs with Chang Chen. Then why did he say it would be in B tier then? Why did he say all these good things about the Chang Chen? And when the Gatling is like basically like very, a very, very similar weapon, like what uh, this tier list was made in two different days. It has to have been or something. Weapon this makes no sure. sense. I will, I will, I'll be okay with that. Maybe it's not meta. If this is the, if this is a non meta tier list, then it makes, then it makes no sense to actually use. Now on to shotguns, the Haldeman. This is the honest shotgun. Haldeman is fine. It's like, I feel like it's just worse Zim and it's always going to be worse Zim. You could run it just for more speed. Just for like, if let's say your build isn't isn't able to carry two Zims, you'd probably just run a Zim and a Haldeman. But honestly, you'd probably just run Zim and a laser shotgun. Let's be real. Whatever that laser shotgun's called. The, the one that looks like a regular shotgun. Well, do people actually use tier lists? So when you're a new player, Elfheimer, like when I was picking up Dark Souls 3, for instance, or Dark Souls 2, I looked up Dark Souls 3 PvP tier list. Just to see, you know, what weapons are people using? What weapons are good? I looked at that because I was like, I'm a new player. I need to learn what's good. I need to learn how to play around it. I need to learn how to use it. That's what you use. So when you look up a tier list on YouTube or on just like Reddit or anything like that, you're like, okay, these are the generally very strong weapons. The ones in S tier you can usually trust as being, you know, these are the things that they see every single day. These are things that have won tournaments, stuff like that. B tier, C tier, D tier, those get kind of iffy. F tier are like, okay, this is what generally people agree. 
are really bad weapons. So when you're a new player and you look up like, hey, what are the best weapons for PvP? Let's look it up. And you get to Orboros Teos, which by the way, is not listed as PvP in the title. I just realized that. It probably should be. Like I I would I got a lot of I got a lot of comments saying that like, oh, this gun's actually like the chainsaw and the pop bunker are crazy in campaign. I don't know what you're talking about. When I like I said multiple times at the PvP tier list, I even had them a title. So I can't imagine how many comments Orboros gotten talking about like how like the Gatling gun's crazy for PvP or PvE, sorry. But like you would look up a tier list if you're new to the game. That, that's what it, that's why it's useful. That's what it's used for. Mm. Start as a fighting game thing. Yeah, it's a fighting game thing. Exactly. Not quite the Zimmermans. Absolutely the spice tier list. You can use any of the takes people give on them because nine of times they're biased. Same, seems like, same like rage gaming tier list on Elden Ring. So my, I used to have a lot of big issues with tier list back in the day when I played Risk Rain 2 because Risk is like tier lists are very context heavy. I have the biggest issue with, with tier list. Like, you can make Pile Bunker work really well if you want something like Pulse Blade Zimmerman to get the stagger off and you're right next to him. You can make Pile Bunker work then. But if you're talking about just the general usefulness of a thing, then it can work. Now, my tier list, I, I, when I do my tier list, I generally have them as, you know, you see over there. That makes sense to me. You'd see these in tournament. You wouldn't see this one because then it's actually useful. You can actually use that to be like, okay, this is what people are running in tournaments. So people are not running in tournaments. That's the idea. That's what you need to know. The Haldman, back to the back to the topic though. Haldman's like okay, it's not terrible. If stability gets buffed and Zims can't rely, reasonably break in two shots, Haldman's could break in could break in four shots. That it still use Zim. If Zim's break in three and Haldman breaks in four or five, I'm still using Zim. Um But it's it gets overshadowed it's by pretty Zim good. way too much. It's pretty damn good. Um Pretty damn good. I would they put say. this in B tier instantly. I think that's where it belongs. Instant. Alright. And now, I mean, that's fine. On to everyone's favorite. You guys already know where this fucking thing belongs. S tier, without yep, a doubt. Exactly. Zimmerman's best weapon in the game, by a lot. Even I'd say it's probably like, I'd say like here's. I would put it. I honestly would make an SS tier for Zimmerman. Like this is meta defined. This is the brawl meta knight of this video game. This is the Smash Four Bayonetta of this game. This is the fucking Street Fighter Two Akuma. Was it? It was two, right? That Akuma was in. I can't remember. I'm not a Street Fighter guy. But it's like, this is the fucking Akuma of this video game. Like, Zermans are fucking crazy and they desperately need a nerf. I would put this in like SSS tier or whatever the heck. 100 bill. Is that my one to go to the assault boost control? Assault boost is crazy. Maybe we need to get better at it. Stun guns might be better, but it's hard to compare. Mmm. Now, I would say S tier is probably right behind Zerman. Billion percent. Like. These things are totally are broken. Um. And a lot of people are like, oh, there's so many counters. Oh, you know, they're not OP. And I agree. There's counters to everything in the well, game. Yeah, but if you haven't seen it yet, Kri it's just Kri Zimmerman counters more than it. Yeah, the thing is, like, there are definitely, there are definitely things you can play around with Zimmerman. But that's the thing. You're running a counter to Zimmerman because Zimmerman is so gosh darn strong. Abertif should be F. So Abertif is weird. Abertif is a weird weapon because, like. It's hard to dodge. It's extremely hard to dodge, but I could just go behind cover. Like I think that's a, I think that's the thing. I think it's the uh, issue with it being still early days. I think Aperitif is probably going to be a tier. We're going to see a tier over time, but right now I think Aperitif is is S just because it's early to be days. Up there, hundred percent. Especially if you know what you're doing with them. A lot of people just use them like mid range shooting you. You have to be close. You have to be assault boosting for the extra impact. In my in my five think changes we need when I talk about dual zims, I stunned a midweight biped in one shot and like you know two shots technically was Zerman because I was assault boosting. Assault boost buff on Zermans is fucking crazy. It is an Unlike insane the first thing. Run. Uh, unless you're fighting a quad or a tank, they are going to get stunned and then you can do whatever the hell you want. So. Yes, but why would you ever go for an open map against an Apertif? Unless unless it is a... If you're doing a tournament rule set, one, you shouldn't have an open map on a tournament rule set. You just shouldn't. Great 086 is like the most open map you should possibly ever have in a tournament. You should not... You should not run an open map in a tournament because missile bots are always going to go there every single time. You will always have to spend your ban on the open map against a missile bot. You always have to do that. Uh, so you shouldn't ever be in a, in a so again, I'm thinking about this in the context of a tournament. So yeah, Abertif, you, you, you should never fight against a missile bot, but we're talking about, we're talking about Zermans here. We should, we should keep on topic at least a little bit. They are automatic yeah. S tier for me. Their impact 
is way too high. Honestly, I think that's the, the major reason I'm putting it up there is just because the impact is insane. It completely shuts people down um, before they can do anything. So S tier easily for me. Yeah. Now we're on to the Sweet 16 shotgun. These things again. Sweet 16s hit so fucking hard. Sweet 16s are crazy. Sweet 16s, like dual Sweet 16s in the back, hit like not pile bunker damage, but it's pretty dang close. I'll tell you that much. Good fucking lord, Sweet 16s are insane. And when it comes to directed damage, Sagger damage is like, it's okay. This is the sawed off shotgun of this game. If the Hallman's like the traditional shotgun and Zim's just like the better traditional shotgun, whatever the fuck that means, I don't know why they just made a direct upgrade to the Hallman. But Sweet 16s are the sawed off. This is the this is the fucking like I am going to obliterate you with these shotguns kind of weapon. Are I fucking not... love this. Two of our direct damage, yes, but these do these do like a shit ton of damage when you get close. On a shotgun, especially. Sweet 16 is A. I, th I think you would I think you would see this in tournaments, but like why not just run Zimmerman? Literally compared to the Zimmerman, um, I do like them a lot. I think they're pretty strong. Um, however, they have a really really long reload, and uh, they just yes, they don't do. Which do is why I use them as back weapons. Enough to be insanely good um i can see two of them being super strong though so i almost want to put this in a tier but oh no don't do it to me or <sighs> you know what yeah don't do it to my heart because the burst damage is really really good and uh you could definitely follow is that up yeah? with something else if you get the stun so i th i think i am going to put it in a tier i think the sweet 16s hey! belong in a tier over All the right. whole months just because yeah, exactly. You played that. Yeah, exactly. Remember, you you kicked my ass with Sweet Sixteen earlier today. It is practically sure. a melee weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost as strong. W take. As I'm down with in that. In terms of uh, a lot of the stat. All right, we're on to handguns. Handguns are real. I fucking love this weapon. This weapon is insane. I legitimately think that we could see this win a tournament one day. I think this is an S tier weapon. I think Quaquillets go crazy. I I think it's I think it's like close to the bottom of S. This thing goes so hard. It is absolutely insane. I fucking love the Quaquillet. Duckett and Quaquillet, I think, are uh, are S, S tier. Really, they're cool, though. Just really get better at the video game, game Merc. Um, <laughs> the Coquillet, I believe, is the smaller, but... See, not even, not even Ouroboros how the fuck I could say this weapon, dude. <laughs> not even Ouroboros how to say this fucking weapon. Faster fire rate handgun of the two. Um, this thing is nuts. This thing is one of the best guns in the game. I'm going to put it A tier. It doesn't belong in S tier. You can't say it's one of the best weapons in the game and then say A tier. I'm losing my fucking mind. But Anger. Damn, it's close. It's these things. Anger. Stun but damn, so it's close. Fast. Okay, I'm fine with Okay. Um, I, but damn, I, I really am tempted fine. to put it in S tier. Uh, we aren't here for beef. We aren't being mean. We're just trying that we're um, just looking just at the tier list. Just because of how doing? quickly you can stagger with this thing. Um, we're here to quack, exactly. But compared to the Zimmermans, which are just straight up overpowered, I think it just belongs in A. I mean, if we're comparing everything to Zimmermans, then yes. Yes, of course. They are they would be A tier because everything is outclassed by Zimmermans. If, we, if we're comparing everything to Zimmermans, then the thing is like, the issue with this game is why not run dual zim? If we're if I'm going to optimize every build that I put on YouTube, I'm gonna put dual zim on it. Because why would I not? There is literally no reason to not run dual zim. Ever. Like it's a missile bot? Yeah, I could see it. You'd rather have a linear rifle or something like that. Or you'd rather have a laser rifle, sorry. Not a linear rifle. You'd rather have like the giant fucking laser rifle that does a billion damage. Exactly. That's why this is why. This is why tiers need to be ordered because you could put this in S tier and have it be lower than Zimmerman. That's how it works. A tier because they are pretty balanced. Um, they're really, really underrated. I love them personally. Uh, I will say, I do think, I think, they, they, I think they're overrated. Uh, not overrated, underrated. I do agree with you there, Oro. Because Duckets, Duckets overshadow these weapons by so much. And I, legit, I legitimately think they're better than Duckets. I think it, it, they're both S tier, but I think Coquillets are higher. Def definite. They really do. Yeah, and I mean, Alfheimer, exactly. Like, if you, if, look, when I make content, I make casual content. I I agree with, ca I, I want to make casual content. I want to make videos. I want to do, I want to do like, 
I want to do videos. The reason why I, do, I haven't done a dual-zoom video, the reason I haven't done like a quad or tank tread video, well, I, I made one tank tread video, but that was to show off plasma, plasma throw, and that thing's really fucking hard to use on bipeds. You'd like, you would absolutely, don't start quacking, oh my god. Uh, but, I, I would just run dual-zoom and everything if I wanted to make like actual optimized builds, like you should take these in the tournament kind of builds. But because I'm running, you know, for fun builds, like this is the Rensetsu Trapper, like the seventh, the seventh gym leader one. Uh, that's just a fun build. You just have fun with it. It's a good time. Try it out. Like the Huxley one I did today. It's just a fun build. It's a good time. You should run it. It's it's like, I'd rather just do that. Do you know when you said it was comparison to the Zims? Basically, the list is comparing everything else to Zims. I guess that makes sense, but like the then why are like... again, are the bigger brother. Um, I don't know. I, I guess if we're comparing everything to Zims, range, then yeah. Uh, slower fire rate, but they pack way more of a punch. Um, and I would stun say way at around more, the same time, they more, were on the yeah. same uh, impact per second. So they're definitely competitive. We're going to put them right in A tier, right next to their little brother here. Perfect, perfect spot for the handguns. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'd say you definitely would see ducats in tournament. But again, this is my criteria. It's not like someone else's criteria. I don't know what their criteria is. It might just be, I, I think you might be right about that, uh, Katudago. It, it might just be how good is it? compared to Zim's, that might be what it is. Now we're on to the Sampu. You never know. The burst. Sampu's fun. I fucking love Sampu. I don't think it's very good. I think it's like, it, it's like, okay. You know what I mean? I would say good is okay. Okay. The Sampu is strong, but why would you not run Est Est Estab Estagen? Estagen? Estagen. Whatever the heck. I overthink you call it. Why would you not run Estagen? You know what I mean? Like, I would just run Estagen in that, in that case. It, it, it makes no sense to me that you would not run a start handgun. This thing step. is super underrated. It is really strong. Does it deserve eight? It's fair to say way more. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. I mean, but like impact. No, you said impact per second is the thing. You didn't say the impact damage. Well, call it a, and duck it stun around the same time. But call it will stun like a bit faster. And that's the thing we care about is stagger because stagger is fucking broken in this game. Tier hell no, but B tier. That's where the Sampo belongs. Rusty, I I'm think, fine with would that. be proud. I'm cool with that. Now we're on to the Viento Needle Gun. These things are... This thing's pretty good. I'd say Viento is like, okay. I wouldn't... It's got really good impact damage, and it's got really good impact, like, rate. Like, stagger rate. But the issue is that I'll just miss my fucking shots all the time. I don't know if that's just me needing to get good or whatever, but I'd say probably B. Probably high B. Viento, I think, could be very strong. People got better with them. I'm just bad with them. And that is that is a skill issue on my part. On my part, one thousand percent. It's like within eighty meter range. Okay, so it's just really, it's like really close range. Then, all right. Are also slept on, but I'm just using way more skill issue. Yeah. Than the samples. These look, things. I will look. I will. Okay. I will fully admit when there is a skill issue happening on my side because I don't have a big ego when it comes to being good at the game. I'm a tournament caster. That's what I am. I'm a content creator. I'm a tournament caster. I'm not a top level player. And I never will be. Because I don't want to be. I want to be knowledgeable about the game. I want to know what I'm talking about. And I want to be funny and entertaining. Those are my goals with this game. It is not to prove everyone that I am the best gamer in the world. Like, I am not going for that. That's not what I'm going for. That's not the point of my content. Things are... Think there are better tier list videos to be made. Maybe there should be more Insane. tiers as well. The only I just, I just want context. That's the biggest thing. Like I just want context. Five shots, but their impact per second is insanely good. You can stun people in seconds with them. They are very, very, very powerful if you can land your shots. I'm gonna put them straight into a tier. Oh, and the dreaded stun that. guns. Hector's fine. There's only one place these... Stun gun S tier immediately. Immediately S tier. These things are like... They're not as good as Zim's. I don't think they're as good. I don't think they're comparable. I think they're just good. You know what I mean? I think they're just good. These things belong. <laughs> S tier. Eggs are crazy. Here's why. Your stun baby's guns telling. are their own breed of bullshit. They... Now, I will say... When system recovery gets fixed, it's currently bugged right now. System recovery on your headpiece does literally nothing for you. It does absolutely nothing. It's supposed to, what it's supposed to do is determine how fast your 
status bar goes down. Right now, just literally nothing. Everyone has zero system recovery. That's why these things are S tier. I'm pretty sure when that bug gets fixed, these things will drop to maybe A tier, maybe B tier. We don't know. We don't know how big system recovery is. We don't know. We barely even know what it does because it just straight up does not fucking work. Not only have insane damage, but they have a status effect that builds up near instantly that staggers your AC. It stuns your AC, not stagger, stuns. You have a mini stun every time yeah, dual stun guns clip one clip every AC. You, They're fucking uh, the crazy. The static builds up. The electricity builds up. And uh, with two of these constantly pressuring your opponent, they could barely play the game. Um, combine this. Now, I wonder if they're going to talk about shields here. Because if you didn't know, if you have a shield on your build, which you should, by the way, shields are really, really strong. Uh, does he, he doesn't rank shields. Right? He only does stuff that does damage, I'm pretty sure. He doesn't rank shields at all. But shields completely counter this. Like, Coral Shield fucks up stun gun. Like, hard. Because you take you take no stat, stun damage at all. You take no electricity damage at all. With the Coral Shield, any shield to get up close and personal to block a bit of damage. Yeah, uh, he's talking about using Coral Shield. Yeah. And you're looking using at Coral one shield of the best weapons in the entire game with little counters. Yeah, using Coral Shield plus, uh, plus stun gun is really fucking strong. Very similar to the Zimmerman. Um, these things are dumb. These things are dumb. They are oppressive. Um... Oh, he does rank shields. Okay, yeah, yeah, he does rank shields. Yeah. All right. Yikes. I got, I got some now talks about shields. Now we're on to shields. the bazookas. Guanji, Majestic. Little Gem's okay. I haven't messed around with bazookas too much, but it's like, it's the lightest of all of them. It's not super duper great. I wouldn't say it's crazy. It's just like, it's just, it's okay. Bazookas scale off lat, so if you get somebody with like if you get somebody with high ping, you can go crazy on it. But like, I just don't like them. Yo, Bloodborne guy, thanks for the follow game, appreciate it. Uh, because of the two second animation stance, I mean, quad and tank turrets are what we're mostly going to be seeing in tournament anyway. I'd say probably C, like overall weak. Like I just, I just, they're okay. And like, all the hand bazookas gem. are just okay. Uh, they all are functionally the same, with uh, a bit of damage dif damage differences, but um. Yeah, honestly, they're they're pretty pretty bad. Um, yeah, I in terms I just of everything, I would probably put them all in D tier. Javelin is like they're, a worse moonlight. You mean the Javelin Beta? Uh, very especially different. in PvP. Uh, for PvE, yeah, they're, they're a little great. bit better, but I still think they belong in D tier. They're just they're really just really, really bad. They're, they're not super great. Now we're on to the detonating bazooka, Javelin Alpha. This thing is okay. It's a little bit better than the bazookas. It's got a little more velocity to the... Uh... I haven't messed with this thing yet, so I don't know how to say anything about it. I, I, I just I just haven't used it. I said, because it's still too early for Rockets, this tier list. I just haven't fucking used it. It's still not great. It's still super long. You think Instazuka can bump up at Zuka's uses? I believe that only works on shoulder weapons. Is it is it both shoulder and hand weapons, Kaido? Because if you don't know what Instazuka is, it's a tech where you can instantly shoot bazookas without, uh, without having to go into the stance or even giving your uh, opponent like the beep beep beep. I'm pretty sure it only works on stuff like Earshot and Songbird, right? Only the uh, the shoulder-mounted ones? Or am I down? Long reload. Still stuff that shoulder weapons do better. So I'm going to put it in C tier for sure. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Uh, you make it. You make a good point here, Oro, is that like... Which you're definitely not watching this, by the way. I don't expect you to watch this at all if this becomes a YouTube video. I'm not sure if I even want to make a YouTube video. I'll be real. This feels like this feels like way too much, way too much drama for my for my liking. Uh, but I feel like I have a lot of good points in here, so I might make it into a YouTube video anyway, because I feel like this is a good point about, like, just how tier lists should work and, like, how, like, the value of them and stuff like that. Uh, and this is the fact that it's way too early, but, like, why not just run Earshot and Songbird if you want a bazooka? Now we're on to the grenade launcher. Yeah, it's a Duchen, punish, exactly. Dizzy, and Iridium. All of them are pretty meh. Honestly, I think it's just yeah, not great. as simple as that. I agree with that. I'd put them all in, in C. It's just like, why would you ever run them, you know? Straight into C tier for all of them. Now we're on to the Napalm Bomb Launcher, KRI. Uh this thing isn't super great, but it's very fun. I will say this is a very funny weapon. It, it It's... Why would you just not run double hard cook? Double uh, bad cook? I almost said hard cook, which is not a thing. Uh, double... Double bad, double uh, bad cook, but it it's funny. I'll I'll tell you that much. It's it's a funny fucking weapon. Um, 
This thing you is really You were freaking out cool. why the map was burning because you hit for Cena. That's really fucking it's funny. It's really bad. If you landed... See, the issue is that, like, people are just going to be in the air, like, all the time in this game. It lands the... Like, uh, why, why would you ever heat, run it? The heat buildup is almost instant. And that's really good. Is it almost instant? Really? I don't think I've ever actually landed the uh, the full shot. If that's true, because, you know, no system recovery, I'm down to run it. I'll try it out. But landing it is the problem. It goes on the ground, and ACs can fly. So... Yep. Uh, that's the biggest issue with it. I'm going to put it in D here. tier. It doesn't belong anywhere else. It's pretty bad. It's hard to use properly. Um... It's really good for tetrapods, really. Honestly, flamethrower oh, might see. just be a better option if you right? want to burn people. It's just... Oof. Next. I'm interested why he puts Jamming Bomb. Because Jamming Bomb, I feel like, has some potential here. I don't think it's very good, though. I think it's A. If we're going by the tier list, like, uh, the tier list criteria that I have right here. I mean, this is why criteria is important, by the way. This is why it's very fucking important. Because if you look at my tier list, you'll see... A is off meta, but you would see it in tournaments. You would see Jamming Bomb used in tournaments. Because how a lot of tournaments work their rules, you would see them as in, uh, you get, so the loser can change their build. The winner has to stay. So if you're against a full missile bot build, you'd put on the jamming round. It's really good for shutting down missile bots. That's its purpose. That's interestingly true. Yeah, someone could run that. That's what's cool about this is why this is why context is really important for a tier list. Because if I was just making a general like this weapon good, this weapon bad tier list, like Aura is doing right here, you would never see Garen Bomb in A tier. You would never do it. But because I have context for my list, but hitting it is not fun. You don't have to hit it. You can just shoot it out the ground, just stand in the smoke. But because I have context for my list, you know why I'm putting it there. Next is the jamming bomb launcher Kyoru. You might be surprised, but this is actually really good. This turns off targeting for everyone. Hard lock, soft yeah. lock, you name it. Missiles, nothing works with this thing on the ground. Um, yeah, so you see the charge one, you stand super in Super underrated, super powerful tool. Does it belong in A tier? No, but B tier for sure. It is a very underutilized weapon. Um, I think we'll probably be seeing more of this in the future. It's good. Now we're... This is horrible. I fucking hate the therapist. I, why would you not just run tools, two, two, two stun guns? Why would you not just run two stun guns? Therapist is bad. It's just, it like, C tier by context of the uh, tier list. Overall weak, but outclassed. It's just, it's just weak. It's just bad. Just run stun gun. If stun gun didn't exist, this thing might go hard. But... Stun gun exists, so this what the fuck are you doing? This thing is pretty therapist? terrible, honestly. It's not great. Uh, it doesn't have a lot going for it at all, besides the electric, and even then, oof. Just oof. I'm putting it in C tier. Not quite D tier, but I'm thinking about it, but we're going to throw it in C tier. Now we're on to the but bad. why not D tier, though? You said this, you said oof, just oof. Why would you not put it in D tier? I thought that was the reason. I thought that was the thing with the details that weapons that were extremely disappointing or weapons that were just bad. Cook flamethrower, my beloved. This thing's fucking sick. I love this. You would never see it in a serious game, but man, it's fucking fun. This is the B tier weapon. But man, bad cook is fun as fuck. I absolutely love it. What's up, Endless, by the way, dude? Bad bad cook, I, I don't think you would ever see it in tournaments, but it would it's definitely very strong. This thing is it's underrated very as hell. Weapon. It does so much damage to people if you're close. I think underrated this deserves hell. to be B tier easily. Um, the DPI. I'm mad, chat. Chat, I'm pissed. Chat, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm mad, I'm pissed. I'm mad, I'm pissed. You can't say this and this then say B tier. This thing is underrated as hell. This thing is underrated as hell. Let me underrate it, it real quick. It does so much damage to people if you're close. I think this deserves to be B tier easily. Um, the DPS it outputs is insane. Um, the extra bonus you get from, you know, uh, flaming people. The DPS um, output is insane. Not Let's on put the internet. it in B tier. Um, be, be nice to them. Uh, this thing is is very underrated because you can follow it up with something that does a lot of stagger on your shoulders on your 
Yeah, why, why would why would you say why would you say this weapon's crazy? This weapon's insane. Definitely use this weapon. I think it's underrated as fuck. Side and then weapon, say B tier. And uh, it'll be even more effective. And two of them again have insane DPS. So I think people are sleeping on the flamethrowers. They're actually pretty good. Although again, I think people are sleeping on the flamethrowers. Let's put it in the same tier with Haldman and Ludlow and Rensetsu AR. Why? Look, I, I get it. In my context and my tier list, I think it's a B tier as well. I think this weapon is good. I think it's very strong. I don't think you'd ever see in a serious game. But if you are if you are bringing this weapon up so much with your words, and then in reality you put it in B tier, you make no sense. You're saying this weapon's crazy. This weapon's awesome. Definitely go use it. That thing is underrated as fuck. Mid tier. Huh? Am I, am I missing something, chat? Am I crazy? Am I silly? Am I silly pilled? What's going on? What's happening? Not quite A or S tier because those other weapons, uh, Zimmerman stun guns, are sort of dominating the close range right now. Now we're on to the laser rifles the LR, the LRA, and the LRB. Right. These, all three, all three of these weapons are crazy. Especially the LR, the, uh, the LRB and LRA. I think these weapons are definitely like A. They're off meta, but you see them in tournaments. I think triple laser is, or quad laser is fucking crazy. I think honestly, the LRB, I think it's S. I think you would definitely see like the LRB in tournaments. Like quad laser, dude, if you've never fought against quad laser, holy fuck. So quad laser they're progressively heavier people. with uh, multiple shots getting to the end. Um, they all function around. I the think same, LRBS and the other two. Obviously, a, the big one is way opinion. stronger. Um, so I think all of them deserve. I know this is going to be crowded, but I think all of them deserve to be in B tier. They're pretty good. They're not great. All right, but they're damn really, really do a lot. So uh, I'm a big fan, and I'm an even bigger fan of our next one, laser shotgun. Not surprised if he ranks the Ruger S. Ruger's pretty good. I will say this weapon is pretty fun. I like the, I like the, I like the charge shot a lot. I don't think it's very good. Like I, I, I don't think it's like meta defining or anything like that. I wouldn't put it in S. I put it in probably A. Like it's off meta. You might see it in tournament like once or twice, but it's probably like bottom of A. I'd say. Or like bottom of A. He puts Thing it in S. Is that real? Punch. The charge attack is insane. No you can do way. like four thousand damage in an instant. Um, com 4,000 damage? Is that true? Is that real? I don't... I'll have to ask Aura's permission. That's what I'm going to do. I'm go if, I, if, if I put this in a YouTube video, I'm going to DM Ouroboro and, uh, and be like, Hey, do you mind if I make this video? I do get angry at you sometimes, but I make it very clear that I'm a big fan of your content. Something like that, you know? Bind that with a, a two of them. And you can like basically instantly kill people when there's 4k if you hit a staggered person and have the 150 energy generator really all thing. right uh it's really good super high rate of fire um and it does it feels like it never ever ever goes on cooldown you can shoot this thing like 17 times before it 17 times finally uh starts to cool off it's it's nuts uh it's yeah 150 gen 150 gen and get the uh and get the trainer ac staggered and see what the better does. laser shotgun in my opinion or really shutting us uh, down maybe not as consistent as the others uh as the other um but the pure raw damage and strength this thing can put out you know we're short time is really, really good i put this in definitely I'd, I'd probably put it in in a or b uh, probably low a i'd say this thing is this thing's really good i like it a lot i like it a lot on quad shotgun like if you're running two zams to uh to do uh these the wooger I think it's pretty good. I think it's the best shotgun the pair with, with Zim. Nuts. I think it's super actually so underrated. Like put in so we're going to put in A tier. Actually, I, I think... You can't you can't keep saying that these things are crazy. These things are insane than putting in a, in a tier. That's 4k damage? Really? Okay, so that is true. Damn. I might have to try that then. That sounds crazy. Put this, uh, the Wooger, in A tier. 
Send the LB charges like 8k. Yeah, that's that's what makes quad laser work. Quad laser is fucking sure. crazy. Now the LS laser shotgun is not quite as strong as. I absolutely I love these shotguns by the way. I would if Zimmerman never gets nerfed into the ground, I'd probably run this on my S1 Wooper, board just build. because I don't think my it has build. the raw. I fucking love this weapon. I think it's probably just B. Honestly, I don't think you'd ever see it in tournaments because I think I think Wooger's better to do to pair with dual Zims. But Wooger like LS is pretty good. DPS, I like it comparatively because of the slower rate of fire. It is more The charge shot's so fun on this weapon. Can we talk about that for a second? I fucking love this. I think what you're misunderstanding is Oro says everything is insane. It's just his manner of speech. That might be it, Nomad. Maybe he's just talking up every weapon. That might be Consistent. it. Consistent. You will get more... You know, that's such a good point, Nomad Kane. I feel like it's just Oro's... <sighs> Oro's a content creator, right? Oro's a streamer. He's a very good streamer. Oro's very fucking good at his job. I fuck, Again, big fan of Oro. I fucking love Oro. I love their content. Huge fan of theirs. So maybe they're just hyping everyone up for the weapon. That might be it. I think you're right, Nomad. I think you're right. Uh, Laser Lance charge Wooger for nearly one shot lightweights. Really? Out of ranged, but if you're closer, the Wooger's. About 4.4k damage, actually. But interesting, you can't combo two of them, even if you have both void charge and you stagger. It's first one, knock them out of the range of the second. We'll huh, delete weird. someone. It also has a way better charge attack, uh, the Wooger's. Um, so I don't think this thing deserves to be an A tier. I think it's got to go in B tier, but it is still a very, very viable and super strong I like, strong L I like LCS a lot. I'm down now we're that. on to the it's LH fun. laser handgun. This thing goes hard. This thing goes very hard. I would say it's a solid A tier weapon. This thing I could definitely see in tournaments. I don't think it, it doesn't beat dual zims. Oh, it, it does beat dual zims, but I'm talking about it does. It's not as strong as dual zims. It's not as strong as stun guns. I'd say you'd run laser, laser handgun if you just want to have fun. Like an off-meta thing. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. We're good. We're good. Chat's back. Welcome back, chat. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Tang wave. This thing, you're going to be surprised. Right. This, I think, is one of the best weapons in the game. I'm putting it straight. Best weapons in the game is a bit much, but I really do enjoy it. I think this is an A-tier weapon. I don't think it's one of the best weapons in the game, mind you, but I can, I can, I can see that argument. I'm fine with this. I'm not upset. This, this is not as like crazy to me of a take. This is not an insane take. I would say laser handgun pretty good. I'll be real. Laser handgun pretty dang good. I'm I'm Get fine with that tier. take. I would argue with it, but I wouldn't argue very hard. I would not die on this hill. Here's Does that why. make sense? These things, the DPS, the range, the uh, if you can somehow stay outside of Zim and the shot and stun gun range, and you can smoke them with laser handguns, and that but that's not practical. Yeah, it's not practical because I have this key on my keyboard. Y'all see my keyboard? I got that one. You see that one? That's my key. That's my that's my assault boost key. This is the key I press when you run away from me. <laughs> I press this one. You see this one, chat? I press that one. <laughs> Ability for them to remove someone from the planet very quickly is is actually insane. Um if you yeah, let laser anybody really good. with a laser handgun close to you for even a second, you will feel the pain. You, they'll do thousands and thousands of damage in seconds. Their DPS, especially with the 150 generator uh, that increases your energy uh, weapon damage, it is it makes these things lethal. Yeah, laser and because of go that, hard. I'm putting it in A tier. And for the fact... You just... <sighs> You just talked them up so hard. You just said they're one of the best guns in the game. Bro. Bro. What the fuck? I'm... <sighs> yeah, I know about that, babies. I saw the stripe, I saw the stripe video on it. Kamuyashi, thanks for the fall, gamer. Pro Hopefully you're having a fun time. Hopefully not as mad as I am. Or at least you're containing it. I'm a very expressive person, by the way. This is why I, uh, I'm kind of freaking out as much as I should. It's not that, like, upsetting, but it is kind of upsetting when you say it's one of the best guns in the game. This thing will absolutely melt you. A tier. Yeah, I agree with A tier. But, like, I could have sworn you are going to put it in S tier. I could have sworn. Actually, it's awful just based on what you are saying. 
You put in the same one you talked about with Gatling Gun, and you said Gatling Gun was easy to play around. It's in the same tier with Gatling Gun. It's in the same tier as Viento. Like, you said these two, you said that this weapon was, like, not very good. And you said this is one of the best guns in the game, and it's in the same tier. Never, ever, ever. Zero needs it my, its own tier. I agree with that, Sim. I 1000%. If there was an SSS tier, I would put it up here. But by the way, there is a context of my, of my, uh, of my tier list on the left. Needs more tiers, in my opinion. I agree, Helkin. Or at least any kind of context. This is why context is so important. This is why when I say, like, I would put it in this tier, I have tiers over there, like on, on the left here, that are very easily defined. This is like you would see it in you would see it in tournaments, off meta, but you would see it in tournaments, strong, but you wouldn't see it in a serious game, over a week but outclassed, and useless, not very good weapons. So someone like the Haldman, I'd put an overall weak but outclassed, meaning that like you would never run that over Zim ever. If your build can't hold two Zims, you shouldn't be running that build. That kind of thing. It's like Oro didn't really script this vid. It feels like it. My my current theory, Sim, is that it's two different recordings. One where he's actually moving the item, and one where he's actually looking at the item and talking about it. That's what I think is happening here. Being able to stop shooting. You can shoot these things a thousand times, similar to the Wooger's, their, uh, their capacity, their energy. Yeah, Laser Handgun's fantastic, and I agree with A tier, but I don't know what his A tier is compared to my yes, A tier. Because just... he doesn't specify at all just what it is. Off the charts, it's nuts. It would, it would be finished before. So, constant pressure. I just... If I were to make a tier list on weapons, I would wait, like, at least two months. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't do it now. Like, now is insane. Constant damage. They are very scary. They are very underrated. Now we're on to the PR plasma rifle. Um, this thing's re This thing's okay. It's not crazy. I'd probably put it in, like, B. It's fun, but it's not, it's not insane. It's, really like, okay. underrated. Um, but it's we not We haven't gotten to that part yet, but I got some more Diablo. Great. But it is good. It is very good. We're gonna put that in straight into B tier. Yeah, I think me and I think me and Oro's B tier are similar. Like it's strong, but you wouldn't see it in like a serious game for like a torrent for money and stuff like that. And the Nebula plasma rifle, honestly, is just as good. We're gonna Now, what's funny about this weapon is that on my tier list, I have no spot for it. Because this thing is banned from tournaments because you can't see it on high ping. You literally, it's invisible. You cannot see it on high ping. This thing, you know how sometimes when you shoot somebody and your bullets just, and you're getting shot, you're getting shot by somebody and your bullets don't show up? This is the worst gun for it. This gun never fucking shows up on high ping, ever. The redshift does, which is really weird. The redshift does, but the nebula very rarely will actually show up for you, which is why it's banned from every rule set in tournaments right now. So like, yeah, the whip doesn't appear on highlight together, but it's not nearly as bad as the nebula. So that I honestly, I would put this in its own tier somewhere random, just being like bug or something like that. Like I haven't played around with it enough because it just doesn't fucking work. Yeah, exactly, Cypher. There are issues with the deck code right now, but most of the time you do see the, you do see the beam sweep. Sleeper back weapon, pulse cannon shield. Why they buffed the low response and blocking the sides? Gonna be bonkered, dude. I, I made a whole video on that sim. I made a whole video on YouTube. Which by the way, if you're not following YouTube, definitely do that because I have a lot more like casual, like fun content on there. Like a lot of very fun weapons. I have, like a fun builds. And I did a double pull, uh, double uh, pulse cannon build, which was extremely fun. I very much like that weapon. It was very fun. I'm gonna throw Probably that in good tier I, as well. I haven't played around with it because it just doesn't. It doesn't fucking uh, these work. These things, if you it. hit someone with them, are going to melt them so quickly. Um, it is hard to land because the velocity is quite slow. You mean the shield cannon? Yeah, I'm talking. You're talking about the, the ones that shoot out like the field, right? The little like field that if you run into it, you get staggered. Yeah, I made a video on that. They're fun. They're, they're oh. a good time. Um, but if you're like a reverse joint, a quad, someone always in the air, raining down. These shots can be extremely lethal. Now, can we talk about it for a second? It's really weird to me that like quads were supposed to be the hover legs, right? These were those supposed to be the aerial legs, but quads are generally more rushdown playstyle because the kick is so good. Like you never see quads just chilling in the air. You always see them like up on your face trying to kick the fuck out of you, which is weird to me. Quads can do all, yeah, but they don't. They mostly just rush at you and try to kick the fuck out of you. 
I feel like I've 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 never seen a quad just chill in the air and rain down stuff on me. I've seen boats do that. I've seen a lot of boats do that. But I've never seen that. You see it more in team fights? I guess that makes sense, Katie's. Welcome in, by the way. But I don't really do a lot of team fights, so I guess I don't know. Now we're getting a little spicy. On to the coral weapons. Um, this first one. Now I have played with the redshift, because redshift does work. Redshift, I'd say, is probably A. I think it's off meta, but I feel like the charge attack, like the first, the, the, is this thing, is this the one with two the charge shots? I think it's only Weapon, the one tier, the right? The redshift coral tier. rifle. Yeah, it's only the one tier, yeah. The charge on this thing can do massive fucking damage. I really like this weapon. But I think it's probably A tier. I think you could see in tournaments, maybe, but I don't think it's like the most optimal play at is all times. You know what I mean? very, very similar. You've never seen a quad leg rush down? Have you never seen quad dual zims? Dude, quad dual zims with like zim to quad kick to zim to quad, quad kick? God dang, man. Have you never seen that? Really? That's crazy. The uh, nebula. Uh, however, it's focused. Take away assault boost of quads and enhance hovering. I agree with what Talon said, but like they come up with a significant assault boost nerf. I'm fine with that. You've never seen that before. You didn't watch the week one tournament because that's all it was, was quad dual, dual zims. It's direct hit damage, so... If you're gonna get a stun off and you fire a couple rounds of these, it will destroy your opponents. See, that's the thing, Talon. It's like, why don't why I not just run the LRB? Like, if I, if I want a Nebula type weapon, I just run an LRB. Uh, the they LRB are is very fantastic. good, but again, the velocity is really slow. I think they belong in B tier, and B tier is getting. A like to me, LRB is an S tier weapon. LRB is fucking crazy. This thing hurts so bad on a, a quad laser build. This thing can melt. A little crowded. Now we're on to the other core rifle, the WLT-011. Core weapons are good, but there are other own damage types, which is good, but it also means they can't be buffed for generator spells. Yeah, that's right. I don't I don't believe these things work with uh with generator spec, which is really sad. This thing was such a huge point with me, dude. I fucking love this weapon. The Walter, yeah, exactly. The fucking Walter is so fun. I love this weapon, but you just you're never gonna fucking use it. You're never gonna use it. Um, this thing has way faster velocity. So this is probably B strong but you wouldn't see in a serious game it does damage it does a lot of damage but i would never run it if i was in a tournament for money um but I, they they both do insane direct hit damage they're really really strong but again they're not good enough to be put into a tier they're just b tier weapons um again they are really good on punishes but i feel like that's oh well true voice for some lot, kind i would actually love that a lot of better weapons for for neutral for impact uh, in general, so remember this. What remember what? They remember are what? really good on punishes, but I feel like that's all they have. There's a lot of better weapons for for neutral, for impact. Okay, I'm down. There's gonna be dual wield, and then you can do level one charge nonstop, basically. Really? Uh, in but the, aren't there like only one? This is the second heaviest gun in the game uh, compared to the Kurosawa. Or isn't there only one arms that actually general. lets you dual wield them? So all of these, I think, sort of belong in the B tier. Okay. Oh boy, we're on to my baby. Now, the Karasawa. I really like this weapon. I don't I would never use it in a serious game. I'd say probably B tier. Karasawa is a like a legacy weapon. It's like the moonlight. It's been in every single game as far as I can as far as I know. It's a really cool weapon. I mean, I had somebody like super fucking excited in my chat when I finally got this. Uh it's like it's such a fucking cool weapon. I love it. But it's also the heaviest armor weapon in the game. And I just, I would never use it in a serious game because it, it restricts my build because I, I have to run something with really heavy load weight, which like, that's all people are running anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just, I would just run an LRB. Like, it's so heavy. Exactly, Diablo. So if it's PVE, it, it's good for PVE. Yeah, I would use it on boat, but like this thing is just, it's okay. From past it's armor fun. cores and this one, the Kurosawa rifle. This thing is nuts. It's a multi-energy rifle. The fully charged the shot in particular is lethal at close ranges. It's almost impossible to dodge. It does 7 billion damage. It has a very, very long cooldown, but if you land the shot, it will absolutely decimate Yeah, look how long, by the way, it takes opponent. to charge this up, and by the way. Almost instant step. Let's, let's check this out, chat. So, what, 2002 right now? Y'all can't see that, but it's fine. Um... Oh, never mind. never mind, we don't see it. It's like, it's a long time. Like one hour cooldown, exactly, Helkin. 10,000 weight, it's For so this heavy, reason, dude. It's a niche weapon against dagger, any non-tank or quad with one shot, if you can land it. Now, if quad tanks weren't good, Kurosawa would be S tier, but unfortunately, meta is I'm actually going to put it exactly. in S tier, and I'm not joking. 
Now, this is the big one that people got really mad about, or not mad about, but like people in my chat got really mad about. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played around with it too much. Or it might be on to something here. I don't know. I legit don't fucking know. Because I saw the weapon weight requirement on this weapon, and I was like, I'm going to run something else. Bojo's KSR RV I'd rush down with, not snipe. It's just... It takes way too long to charge. It's just so heavy, exactly. If you hit, and only if you hit the set, the 8 second charge shot, it's an S tier. It's like, you would never run this, right? Like, you would never, you would never run this. That you would always run, like, I, again, if we're talking about, it's like, in the, like, the context of my tier list, I don't know what, again, I don't know what the fuck Ouroboros context is here, where he says that the, because these are not ordered, by the way, these are not ordered, that Kurosawa is as good as Zimmerman? Excuse me? That makes with no even sense. even one of these, you can make a viable build with just a couple other steps. Um, they're that strong. They're... I disagree. I don't think you can run Stun Gun Karasawa and have a viable build that can compete with Quad Dual Zim. Really, 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 really not to be trifled with. The second you see that Kurosawa, you need to make sure that you dodge when it comes out. And if you don't... When I see that Kurosawa, I just kick them because they lose their charge when they get kicked, right? That's how that works, right? I haven't fought a Kurosawa very much at all. But I know that whenever you kick a missile, or you kick other charge weapons, you lose the fucking thing. And guess what half the game is? Kicks. When I see a Kurosawa, I'm like, okay, time to kick you. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna bully you because it takes like five seconds for that thing to charge up. More than that, actually. I'm just talking about the second charge. He kicks with the quad and falls with the Kurosawa and one-shots people. Yes, but I'm just gonna kick you back before you can charge up your Kurosawa. These opponents play worse than NPCs. Really, 7th Gym Leader. As Oro has historically known for it, and this isn't meta as an attack on his character, and meta as an attack on his character, Oro is a casual snopper. Kurosawa can absolutely demolish people who don't know what they're doing. I mean, I guess that's true. Like, the thing is, like, if you're... Here's enough time before contract contact with people to charge it to prevent. Those perhaps have that timing. But are they... I get what you're saying. Uh, I get what you're saying, Cypress. But then your entire slot is like devoted to that one shot potential. And if you, I don't know, it's such a weird weapon to rank, dude. It's such a weird weapon to talk about. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right, Cypress. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. It's too early. It really is. Not enough tournaments are happen have happened. Not enough data is there. It's too early to say if this is wrong or right. Is a high skill casual tier list, not competitive torrent tier list. Ranked properly, almost purely on vibes. Yeah, probably what it is, Diablo. I wish we knew, but we don't. Which impact on your build, in my opinion? I agree, Seventh. Welcome in, by the way. If he hits it, it can be an S. But if we're going with that, then why is the Walter Cannon down there? Because if you hit with the beam, it does a billion damage. So why is that as B? Oh, you're basically dead. So I think it's very fair to put those bad boys in S tier. Also, if we're talking about that, if we can, if you can hit it, why don't just one fucking pile bunker? You know what I mean? I mean there's a lot of damage. Usually just aggro through 2k damage. I've one shot somebody before with the Watcher Cannon Beam. It's fun. But it does push them around, which is a lot, which is annoying. It's really hard to use, but it's fun. But if you land, it does a billion damage, and that's the argument for Karasaw. If you land, it does a billion damage. If we're, if we're going with that, if that if that's the reason to run this, Chainsaw's S tier, Popbunker's S tier, like... It's also was a bit inconsistent. Yeah, it, it, it's very weird. Now we're on to the pulse guns, the weird Q1 there. and the 8. These things are like, these things are weird. Like, it's weird as fuck. I'd say probably B, or like C. It's like, it's weird. These weapons are wild because like Pulse Armor is so strong right now. And like the more, the more, the more times that people are using shields, the more these guns are become relevant. Like this thing melts Coral Shield. Like if you're having issue with Coral Shield players, put one of these on your back.
they're, they're legitimately pretty dang good. And if someone box terminal armor, you can just shred their fucking terminal armor and just obliterate them. If someone box pulse armor, you just go with the bubble gun. Would be staggered for the entire charge duration of the saw, and they don't dodge the shot. It's good. It's if it's, it's too big. Yeah, exactly. Two. Both of these guns are extremely situational because their purpose is to destroy pulse shields. Uh, pulse shields you're gonna see on Belta. Pulse shields and regular shields, both of them. Which is important when Coral Shield is this good. You can see anyone who pops Pulse Armor. But because of that, they're really not good anywhere else. They do uh, quite a bit of damage on their own. But you have to be super up. I wouldn't say quite a bit. They they tickle Close, you. And their accuracy isn't great. Um, Because of this, we're going to... Yeah, they're a counterpick weapon. We'll put them in C tier. Right? And that's exactly what they are. That They are counterpick. They, they are... They, they are basically like, oh, my opponent's known for using coal shield. I'm going to put on this and just obliterate them. Next, we got the missile launcher and the split missile launcher. Um, oh God, both of these, Cyprus. you know, have similar functions. They shoot out missiles. Split's better. MLT-04 is all right. I'd probably put MLT-04 at, at like, uh, at probably C and then probably split missile in B. Because you wouldn't see this here game because Aperitif is better. do stuff. Um, you know what I mean? probably okay. put in A. Their damage isn't great. Um, but they're not terrible. Um, I'll put them in C tier. Ugh. I think that's fair. Because there's way better main hand weapons you can throw on. We're an hour and 35 minutes, by the, and by the way, and we're not even halfway through the video. Speaking Just wanted of to say way that. better main hand weapons, we're at the Apparitif. Apparitif? I said that. Oh, it is Apparitif. I'm stupid. It is Apparitif. All right. I'm dumb. Uh, so Apparitif, I think, is A tier. I think it's probably the best on missile bots, and missile bots aren't exactly meta right now. Now, there is the Bulls build, which won the week one tournament. Uh, the Bulls boat, that thing goes fucking hard and uses ap 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 apparative, whatever the heck you want to call it. It's apparative. Thank you. Or apparative. Apparative? Dude, words are so fucking hard. Let's be real, gamers. Words are hard. Uh, but, like, this is. This is probably the best missile weapon. A pair of teeth. Thank you, Daypixel. I appreciate that, dude. Which is, it might actually, it might actually be an S, because it already did win a tournament. This thing already won a tournament. So actually, in, in the context of my build, I'd say it's probably the S tier. Because it already won a tournament. So I have to put it in S tier. One it of the greatest the tier list I have. main hand weapons in the game. The Siege Missile Launcher shoots out delayed missiles. Um, that sort of <laughs> grum, sit for a while, fucking, but allows you to reposition, cone. and then the missiles Honestly, start yeah. coming at your opponent you call the pine to cone. track them down, and Good it idea. does a lot. I mean, a lot of damage, and they have a lot of range, and they shoot out a lot of missiles. Uh, honestly, this thing is insanely powerful. I'm going to go ahead and put it in S tier. This is Carlo one of the greatest weapons fight. in the game. I wouldn't say greatest weapons in the game. I'd say it's probably it's definitely the best missile in the game, like by far. Like if I could, if I could just run, like I, I'd say it's probably the best. It's the best hand missile. Coral's the best shoulder missile, and everything else is like off meta, but fun. You know what I mean? Just for putting pressure on your opponent, um, I think it's definitely overtuned. It's very strong. Now we're on to the fun stuff, the melee weapons. First up, we got the pile bunker ash. Okay, Pile Bunker's fun. I really like Pile Bunker. I think it's extremely fun. I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, Pile Bunker, I would say, like, A, off meta, but you would see it in tournaments. Like, Pile Bunker, I think, can just win you a game. That's the that's the, that's the the crazy thing about Pile Bunker. If you get Stagger off and you get Pile Bunker, you get Pile Bunker, you, just, you can just lose. Like, the, the high HP differential, like, let's say you're at, like, 10 HP, you're at, like, even Terminal Army, and your opponent's at, like, 50% HP, you get a Pile Bunker off, they die. They lose. You've won the game. Nothing in the game does as much dagger damage as, as a pile bunker does, as far as I know. I believe that's it. I believe that's accurate. I believe that's accurate. Pile bunker does a shit ton of damage. 4k weight hurts compared to other melees. I mean, that's true. It does 4k weight, but you also have to keep in mind, meta right now is heavyweight. Kyle is S rank because you can one-shot people. Someone does pile bunker also I mean, rank S. That, that's my question. This is one of the best melee weapons in the game. If not for the fact that it does the most burst damage as quickly as need to be right up next to the guy. Yes, but good players are going to be doing that. That's the thing. If if your if your goal is to pow bunk someone as a tournament player, is that is that if you is that, if that is your build, you'll be running something like dual dual zims with like uh dual zims with like maybe not a Huxley, but let's see what else would you run. Probably laser drone on your back, 
uh, quad legs, and then you'd kick into Zim in the pile bunker. That'd be the combo. It's possible out of all of them. Um, Those are cool. Maybe that actually. It really is. Um, if you're too slow on getting staggered and someone has a pile bunker, they're charging it on you. As someone who plays against a good pile bunker player all the time being mood, yes, good pile bunker players are going to fucking Usually, obliterate Usually, even you. the quickest pulse armor is not going to make it. You are going to tear through them. Oh, you yeah, one shot of melee. Yeah, exactly. Never mind. <laughs> you're right. I forgot I about whether that. you like it or not. Uh, this is one of the best melee weapons in the entire game. I'm going to place it in A tier. Solid. I'm fine with that. One's in pulse blade, left hand is based. Dude, mood is fucking sick. Mood's a, mood's a very good friend of mine. They're fucking awesome. I sense what you're talking about, Tom, because mood's, mood's build is horrifying. Mood's build is terrifying, dude. It, it one-shot staggers against wheelchair. Like, that's wild to me. Now we're on to the explosive thrower, Tai Yang Shu. Uh, this thing is just weird. Mood streams. Actually, you know what? I'll do this real quick. We got a lot of people in here. Let me do a uh, slash shout out. Don't follow Mood, because Mood's a really fucking cool dude. Mood the Destroyer. If you want to see some really fucking good power bunker play, y'all go follow Mood, okay? Mood's a really fucking cool dude. Mood's his nightmare? I agree. What, Mood, what build has been running? It's a lightweight build with Pulse Blade and, uh, and Power Bunker and Zimmerman, and then Power Bunker on the, uh, on the back. This is what they do is they pulse, they do the charge Pulse Blade, then they shoot the Zimmerman, and then they go... Boom! Mood toxic as hell. It's really fun to shit talk with Mood, though. It's really weird. It's not great, but it's not we'll bad. We'll probably raid them after this then, Mongo, if they're Does still on. Does it deserve anything higher than B? Hell no. You know what? It even deserves C. Because... Explosive throwers, like, I haven't played with it enough to, to be able to rank it. I, I, so I honestly don't know if it's B or C. I really don't. I probably would see it, like, with my tournament. I'd probably see, see it's it probably just, B, I'd say. It's just weird. Um, The range isn't great. Uh, the stagger you get with oh, it, it is super good, fun run. but super there are fun. way better options. It definitely belongs in C tier. And we're on to one of my per- I'm- I'm really curious where he puts this. I'll be real. I'm really, really curious where he puts Chainsaw. Because Chainsaw can go crazy, but it's really fucking hard to land. And it's very inconsistent. I, you can just fall out of it sometimes, which is an, which is an issue. He's probably worse than Paul Bunker. I wonder if he's going to put it where he's going to Personal favorites, the Double Trouble Chainsaw. Oh my god, is this thing underrated. Um, chainsaw has the highest direct hit damage punish in the entire game. Allow if all the hits connect, that's the thing with it. I have fallen out of this multiple times. There are many times where my me on my lightweight build have survived the chainsaw because it just didn't fucking work. Now, Pile Bunker is just better because Pile Bunker is one hit. It's easier to line up. It does. It has no. It has like a very short charge time. If you whiff it, you can just dash away. It's like allowing you to stun someone once and chainsaw them in half. Really. I think we found the reason why people think chainsaw is good. Maybe that's why I had so many many comments because they're orb or viewers. Uh, well, there's nothing wrong with being an orb or viewer. It's just if that like. If you watch tournaments and if you watch like high level play, mm, you're never going to charge see this. attack. It's absolutely devastating. Um, also, if you charge it up, it gives you damage reduction. Yes, the stagger damage reduction is is the damage reduction is I believe forty percent, right? But doesn't that forty percent also like go to your impact as well, or something like that? I know I know it's a weird form. It's not like a, it's not just like forty percent stagger reduction, forty percent damage reduction, right? It's something it's some weird formula that works really wacky. I believe it's a 40% damage reduction. I don't know what gets to impact. It's like a weird formula. Wall charging. So you get passive damage reduction while just charging it up, walking around. Uh, this thing is super underrated. But keep in mind, it's not passive damage reduction in general. It's passive damage reduction in front of you. It's, I believe, a 180 degree cone in front of you. Or a single cone in front of you. 100% A tier weapon. Like two row tournaments, right? There's been more. There's been more that haven't been streamed. I believe there's only been two real tournaments on Twitch, but there was like there's been a few that's been like just in Discord, I believe. No. But that's the thing, Panda. That's the thing, Panda. The game is too fucking early for this. It's way too early for this. It's way too fucking early for now we're this. We're on to the EB stun baton. Uh, this fucking hate it. Terrible garbage D. I fucking hate this weapon so much. It has potential because it's uh because it's charge attack. 
but potential doesn't matter if you can't fucking land it. And thing good luck. sucks. This thing is just not good. It's. Thank you, Oro. It's just not I good. I agree. It's not good at anything. I agree, Oro. It's memeing. It's, it's fun. It's At least horrible. brutality. But it really, really sucks. Like, really sucks. I. You know what makes me so sad about Stumbaton? Is the charge attack is okay, but the basic attack fucking blows. Like, it is probably the worst non-charge attack in the entire game. Like, it is horrible. Personally hate it. It's D tier for me. Sorry. Now we're on to the laser dagger. This thing is... This thing is a solid A tier. This thing is fantastic. I fucking love the laser dagger. This thing has a true combo with it, by the way. It's If you get a stagger, you can get three hits of the dagger off and then a kick. And that kick can lead to another Zim shot. It's fucking crazy. Laser dagger goes so hard. It is like, it is... It's A. It might even be awesome. S. I'll it's be real. super lightweight, so it can fit on most builds. And it does a lot of damage on its three hit combo. Um, it's just overall really, really solid. It's got to go B tier. Now we're on to the laser. You. Really, really solid. It's got to go B tier. Now we're on to the laser blade. This thing is so know, tragic because laser blades pretty terrible. Uh, it's not fantastic. The regular I attack want... sucks real bad. The regular attack sucks. The charge attack is like very niche. If someone lands a lot, if you're playing a very against a land-based opponent or like maybe a tank tread, you can go for the charge attack and really catch them off guard. It's very, very fun. It's it's honestly, I would say probably a C tier because it is just it's it's overall weak and it's outclassed, but it's really I'm fun. I love it. I like it's... it. Regular pulse blades S tier. Regular pulse blade goes so fucking hard, Cypress. Like the silver lining build that mood is that mood pilots, that thing goes so fucking hard. That thing is terrifying the fighting. Really game. cool. It's Pulse got Blade a nice is, big is blue S sweeps and the double insane. sweep charge, but it's just not good. The tracking is terrible. The range is the biggest issue with this weapon. Because if you didn't notice by the one he's swinging here, Pulse look at sweep this. Sweep charge, but it's just not. Look how look how fucking short this range is. Is this where you miss active armor core forms? I mean, we have like Reddit and stuff. It's, BP it's BPD. I feel like there's just not active forms at all anymore. You know, like I, I long for the days of Smash boards. You know, back playing like Smash Four and Ultimate. Oh, no, Ultimate. Back playing Smash Four and like, I, I just I, I I miss Smash boards. Smash boards were really fun. Not good. The tracking is terrible. If dedicated boards, some like I I would love some sort of like talk for <sighs> feels like i'm using the moonlight Man. greatsword in the past few souls games where you just do the big charge and it just whiffs for no reason at all it's a feels bad moment and it, it, i don't think it's great. great at all um best screaming oh, place man. Play. I, I really I, hope he doesn't place even, it in like b i'm tempted I really hope to put it in a, d tier Oro. but it's not that bad you it's can still land hits. It's, it's still got a lot of range it's, i agree it with just, that it's not d tier worthy it just definitely see leaves you open it leaves you in this big long animation it's not powerful enough to justify it. It just... Dagger charge attack is mid. Takes a little too long to charge up. If you do regular attack to regular attack to regular attack and then the charge attack, you can basically like mix up any of those regular attacks into the charge and you can really throw your opponent off guard. Because the thing is, it doesn't take that long to charge up if you're in the middle of another melee. It's a weird dagger tech that you can do. It's very wacky it's how it works. So... Yo, BBD, thanks for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, we got a little bro enjoyer. Hello, hell yeah. Oh, underwhelming. Dagger's great. Dagger's I think that's fucking the big awesome. Thing is, is I love very it. underwhelming. Laser blade gets a solid C tier for me. Now on to the lasers. Now this thing, <sighs> I put it in B. You would never see in a serious game. Now Ty guy goes crazy with this thing. I will say Ty guy is probably the best twin blade user we have at the moment. In the week one tournament, they were playing dual quad. Uh, they were playing dual zim quad, and basically. Zim into kick into like into twin blade and it went fucking it went so hard it was mega fucking cool, but my question is, why not just run pyro bunker? If you want a weapon that does a billion damage and is consistent, you go for pyro bunker every single time. This is a finisher melee. I'm taking I'm quoting my friend Mood here. This is a finisher melee that is very inconsistent. Is way easier to fall out there out of than chainsaw. So honestly, if you're gonna make this, I'm gonna make an argument about like laser slicer being really good which I don't know if they do or not. I'm not, I'm not sure what Aura says here, because again, I'm watching it for the first time. 
I would just put Chainsaw in the same place with Twin Blade. Because they're basically the Slicer, same thing. Slicer, a.k.a. the Twin... Oh, Tom, it's so fun Twin to Blade, I this thing TV. is incredible. The damage you can put out with this thing is nuts. The second you get... If it works. That's done. It's lighter than Power Bunker, so if you're doing a light build... I mean, there you go, yeah. But... No one does light builds, because that's not meta right now. If we're doing a tier list... Because again, what... If you are doing a tier list, you're saying here are the good weapons, here are the bad weapons. That is what you are doing. That is what it's going to be used for if someone, if a new player looks up a tier list. For those of you that weren't here for my earlier rant when I talked about this. If you are looking up a tier list, it's because you are new to the game and want to know what's good. Heavyweight builds are good, so the weight of the thing doesn't matter too much. You go for the stagger punish combo. Because you're already running quad legs or tank tracks. And you are swinging you know I mean? for like an hour. Suddenly... The opponent. They're not just kind of bad, they're unusable in a no rules environment. Because dual zims, especially with Assault Boosted, will just stun you in one hit. opponent is in a Tekken juggle combo. They are wanting to pulse armor out of there, but you just throw them right back in. It is, it's nasty. This thing is super underrated, super powerful, combined with laser drones, where you shoot them out and then combo with this, the laser drone. Now, he is saying combo with this. You can't. If you don't have a stagger, this weapon does nothing. You will never, ever hit it. They will just walk out of the hit. It has a weird form of hit stun where they don't actually get stunned. It just, like, hits them. It's very fucking weird. Some real speed and range weapons. But I feel like that's not even... That's not even it, BPD. I feel like it's just the fact that they get staggered so fucking shoot easily. Shoot your opponent while you're... And then, it, then the second they get staggered, they die. Like, light builds basically have two lives. They have the first one where you can just pulse armor. They have the second one where you just die. Turn and pulse armor, you can make light work, work even against those dims, but you have to play super well and run away often. You have, you, you have to outplay your opponent super Comboing fucking them hard. Where well, they can just run towards you and just mash hours, kick. They actually have time to come out. Blades will never stun an enemy unless it's a charge swing, so the slicer's main form of damage being uncharged is the only good when the enemy has an AC, ACS limit. Exactly, Caddy Dog. But like, and start when you do uh, when you do like a pulse blade charge, it does a billion stagger. So that's a good opener. You want to understand what I mean? Like Glint, they were hard to touch. Then there were shooting, light quads that slap. Uh, bullet orbits yeah. at all? Any orbits? Um, this thing it just has so many. I agree, Scott Guy. They definitely do high, offer the highest skill ceiling. It's just there comes a part where the skill ceiling is just not worth it. It's just not worth it because like if let's say if I wanted to become a top player in this game, if I wanted to compete in tournaments, if I wanted to like play, you know, be one of the best players in the Discord, whatever the heck. I would never pick up a lightweight, because why would I? When I could just run quad. It's way easier than one quad. It's like the whole, like, pick up a top tier thing. This is the fucking Shulk argument from Smash 4. It's like, Shulk might be a top tier if you learn all the crazy tech with him. I'm narrow casting here for people who played Smash back in Smash 4, but Shulk could be a top tier if you learn all the cool tech with him, but why would I do that when I can just play Diddy Kong and not learn the tech and be, and just learn that character instead? You, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I could just not learn how to heavily outmaneuver my opponent and just play kick quad. Uh, team fights, keeping someone in place for that long. It, it, I think this is the longest combo extender in the game out of a stagger. It is, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, and for that reason alone, it has to be A tier. This is one of the strongest yeah. punishes. Now, in the context of Oro's tier list, I agree with this because he put Chainsaw here and these things have basically the same role. In the game. So. Yes, it takes a while, but that's sort of the point. Now we're at the laser lance. I love this thing. I made this was my favorite way to whip in the game until I got the PvP, where it falls out. The people fall out of it constantly. It's just it's not super great as an opener. It is a decent finisher, but at that point, why don't just run something else? It's just but laser laser lance. I say is like B. It's strong, but you would never see it in a serious game. System recovery only. Disco Dino. This system recovery only works on stuff like electricity and fire. That's it. As far as I know, and again, it's bugged right now, so I can't I can't play around with it. This is the only one I've heard. As far as I know, it only works on shock and fire. It's several so builds around the laser lance, uh, namely the dragoon, but it's just fun. It's just fun to charge. It's fun to get people damage. It's got decent tracking. Uh, sometimes the charge attack will miss like point blank, and it's really weird. Um, yes. But I don't think the lance is actually good enough to go to A tier. Um, because the damage it does is outshined by a lot of other stuff. Uh, the tracking isn't perfect, but it can combo into other melee combos. Um, 
Yeah, like Lance Twin Blade is a thing. If you if you can land the full Lance combo, you can go sicko mode on the Twin Blade with it, which is cool as fuck. I actually really like the combo. I've been hit by it before. It's really fun. It's just good luck actually landing but Lance. That alone doesn't doesn't push it to A tier. It is a B tier weapon. It is still very good, but just exactly BDP. Like BDP BDP says it real real great here. Technique versus raw output. I feel it. I'd rather just perform well than sweat every match in a light suit. Exactly. It's like if you have to if you have to outplay your opponent so hard, like the potential's there. Yeah, the potential's there, but like I have to put in so much less work with quad not kick. Why would I not just run excellent. that? Excellent. Oh boy. Plasma three Lance next to bro, Lance next to fucking dagger kills me. It really does. Lance should not Rower, be there. This thing like, dagger is should not be there. Insane. This is the best mail up in the game. This honestly, on quad, I could see this being better than dual zim. I legitimately do. I think this is an S tier weapon. I think this weapon goes fucking hard. I think dual dual uh, zims with a swap to hammer, or maybe even just hammer zim, could go fucking on crazy. A quad this weapon build is or insane. A tank, it's ridiculous. This shuts down anyone getting into close range. It instantly God, stuns the impact damage. These now. That sucks. The charge attack is horrible, and you would never use it, ever. The damage, everything about this is nuts. Uh, this is the most underrated melee weapon in the entire game. It's probably because it's nigh unusable on uh, bipeds and reverse joints because you're stuck in the long whip animation. Um, but Which sucks, by the way, because I would love this, to use this, this thing. This I would plasma thrower. No joke, I would main this weapon if it did not get you stuck on bipeds. I, I, I think all of my builds would have a hammer on it the whip is nuts if anybody gets close to you as a quad or a tank you can kite them you can instantly stagger them do whatever you want this is 100 percent one of the best weapons in the game and uh honestly yeah, i'm gonna put it in on, on, on it's just heads. that damn good it's i think it is the most underrated but my question is on that is like why would you not just run you know something that's not hammer for a finisher I mean, I'd just rather run Power Bunker at that point, you know? But then a Power Bunker, like, is heavier and also, like, you have to be good positioning for that. So I get what you mean. Is it best in class on biped for stagger damage? It might be, I wonder. Huh. I never thought about that. Tool in the might entire be best game. In class. I hope I don't see know. more of it because I sort of hate it. And finally, <laughs> everybody's favorite melee weapon, the Pulse. This is what I mean. Again, I want to say this real quick. Oro's funny. I fucking, I, I love Oro's content. Oro's content's fucking sick. I'm a big fan of this guy, but good lord, this, Blade, this, the starter this weapon. is not great. Uh, this thing's super good. Uh Pulse Blade is an S tier weapon. This thing is crazy. Pulse Blade plus Zimmerman goes absolutely fucking hard. Pulse Blade charge attack to, to Zimmerman combo will instantly stagger wheelchair builds, which like that's insane enough. But then like you, if you build up a bit of stagger beforehand, you can stagger, you know, tank builds. Just the immediate stagger output of Pulse Blade to, like, charge Pulse Blade to Zim is crazy. Like, Mood has, Mood has 1,000% made me believe in this uh, weapon. It's this not good is for punishes, crazy. but it's good crazy. for general... It is good for punishes. If you can land the full combo. If you can land the first hit of the uncharged and the second of uncharged, it does, like, 4k damage. Did you do a tier list, tier list? What? Sister? Neutral. General, general, uh... Melee footsies in neutral, we'll call it. Um, just throwing it out, just hitting someone with it. This is probably the best melee weapon in the game for them. Um, it does a lot of impact. I kind of agree with that. I think I think if you if you want a traditional blade, this is probably the best one. I mean, I like Coral Lost Slater because Coral Lost is just fun. But uh, I think Laser Blade is Laser Blade's just a good time. You know, I like Laser Blade. Uh, Coral Lost Slater is just a good time, but I think Laser Blade's better. I really do. It does a decent amount of damage. Uh, it's not great for punishes, um, but it does yeah, do a lot of damage to You don't use it in punishes, you use it in neutrals. And um, just, it's it overall good. I don't think that's a it's plus good. four. It doesn't do a lot of damage to It's a B tier shield. weapon, for it's sure. Okay. Oro. Didn't Mood obliterate you? Wait, I thought, didn't, isn't there a video where Mood like fucking obliterates you? Watch this chat. Watch this. Yeah, like this is what this is a, a video that blew up on Moot's channel. Pulse blade, Zam, Paw bunker. That's why it's S tier. That's why it's S tier. 
Mood obliterates you with this weapon. And yet you're saying it's... It's B tier? How? How? Yeah, T-Bow's like, Now we got the funny. Moonlight and the Red Shift. It's like Pulse Plate is crazy. Pulse Plate is ridiculous, Two dude. of my favorites in the game. Uh, these are sort of ranged melee weapons, but they still benefit from stuff like the Basho. Now, Moonlight, Moonlight and Red Shift, I think these weapons are solidly A. They're really good directed damage punishes. I really like them. I think Moonlight's just straight up worse, sadly, because you just want to use the regular bell. You don't use the charge, because charge is way too easy to dodge. But charge is fun. The guy, these weapons are really fun. I think they're off meta, but you can definitely make them more tournament. Uh, very, very, melee very specialization stat. Um, so they're definitely still melee weapons. Uh, however, Most consistent melee weapons. they're I'm really kinda, good kinda on with that. builds yeah. that can't go in for the punish because they're too far away, uh, such as rifles, uh, laser rifles, any any sort of long range. Um, these are going to be a great tool. Use a melee, always Kikaku. No, uh, melee boost thrust doesn't matter a ton. I would, uh, I would always go with the NGI. Let me show you. I don't have the game open, but I would go with the NGI-001 or the Alula. That's what I would go with on melee builds. Kikaku is like only necessary if your only form of movement is going to be the melee cancels. But the regular boost speed on Kikaku is terrible. The regular melee boot, the regular boost speed on Kikaku is horrible, dude. It is bad. To uh, switch and get some bigger damage than just continuously shooting. Ruzek, I don't even know what that is, so it's probably not worth it. I don't know. I don't know that booster by name. Um... And their projectiles are pretty decent, uh, especially. Yeah, Alula is extremely good. Uh, NGI 001 is my personal favorite because this is the, the charge. Long dash. The both of them are very hard very to fun. dodge um, in general, especially. The charge of both of them is not very hard to dodge. I have issue with that. You just. Hey, chat. This button. You press this one to dodge it. You press this one. And it works like 90% of the time. If you don't know they're coming. So I, I disagree um, with that. They are telegraphed, but fair. Um, so I think we're going to put both of them in B tier. Again, uh, the Moonlight's still really good because it doesn't have the good R1s, but it has a good charge attack. Again, this is one, this is one, of, those, one of those takes that like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue too hard about it. I'd say they're pretty good. I'd rather them, I'd rather them in BA, but again, this isn't ordered, so there's anywhere in B tier. Like, I wouldn't argue super hard about it. I wouldn't yell at them. I wouldn't freak out. I wouldn't be like, hey, this makes no fucking sense. Well, I wouldn't yell at them anyway. This is stupid. I'm, I would never do that. Or was a good dude. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be fucking mad at them. But you understand what I mean? Like I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't die on this hill. And highest ideal weight booster and fastest assault boost booster. Okay, okay, okay. Well then I mean what's the melee thrust speed on? Because you want some melee thrust speed. So when you go you out on a head. Shift heavy is the opposite, okay. has really good R ones, but not as good charge. Hey, it's a both extremely good options i'm also dead oh god here we are this is a i honestly i would put this in probably a tier not s tier even though this is my favorite one of my favorite weapons in the game if not my favorite i think pulse blade's just better i'll be real 10 400 melee thrust that's not bad then you can probably run that you almost definitely run that actually It'd be a good time i think this is probably i think this is probably an a tier weapon I wouldn't put an S, even though it's one of my favorite weapons. It's like it, it, it's one of my favorite. So you can go through objects. It's a, I believe it's a bug right now, Mimerk, because that doesn't happen all the time, like at all. It's only, I think it's only specific objects, and it's like weird in a way. It, it's, it's like it's bugged right now. The coral oscillator. This thing is really, really, really strong. Uh, see, people, people are people talk about how easy that blade is to that beam is to dodge. It's really not, especially if you like. If you manual aim it to the right a bit, like I could see this being a very high skill weapon when it comes to that, like later on in the meta of this game. But this blade is like, the beam is not that, e that easy to dodge and it does a ton of damage. Um, it's a very fun it's one. Normal slash is cool, it's strong, but that's not what it's used for. The charge attack- Yeah, it's, it's really attack inconsistent. is never. a massive sweeping laser beam that does like seven billion impact damage, uh, especially the coral missiles. Um, Exactly, it's hard to dodge, you're probably going to dodge sideways, because most things in the game you dodge sideways. Um, that's my bread and butter combo right there. Um, so it like, it like turns you around sometimes. It's so fucking funny. You'll go like... <laughs> it's really it's, fucking It's goofy. nasty. Uh, the tracking on it is really good. There's even tech where you can hard lock away and like spawn the laser on top of someone. So I think these are yep. slept on. 
and uh, they can be hard to use because you can't turn your camera while you use the charge attack. But honestly, you just let Jesus take the wheel and half the time you're going to hit your opponents because the tracking is yeah. super strong. Uh, these are a definite A tier. Now we're on to shoulder weapons and on to my babies, the Morley. Morley is really fucking good. It's kind of hard to justify using it over Earshot, but I think Morley is really fucking good. I'd say probably A. You probably put this in like off meta. You might see it in Tornet eventually. Oh my God, I do know. I love these things. Are they good? Yep. Yeah, Coral Oscillator is stronger than Pulse Blades. Kind of crazy good. to me. I, Are I agree they with great? That. Hell no, they're not. They have super, super slow time to fire. The second you pull the trigger, you're going to be waiting a good two seconds before those bad boys come out. Uh, the range is pathetic. Uh, the damage leaves a lot to be desired, but the impact... The range being pathetic doesn't matter when we're in a shotgun meta, my friend. ...is insane. If you can land this thing... Molly's are more B tier. Uh, the whole shotgun. I mean, I feel like you'd use blast. it against like on like quad Most kick. You know what I mean? ACs will get stunned in a single I would definitely double see blast it there. from the Morleys. Um, so they could be a incredibly I would see it on potent, quad zim double kick, um, definitely. As I'm sure a lot of you have seen on my rust bucket build. So I'm gonna put them at B tier because they're they're have a use. It's very niche. Close. Where they put the Morley? Oh B. Strange. I'm fine with that. Um, but they're not. I, I wouldn't go up to bad for that. But for the Morley, they're it's not like bad. okay. Now we're on to the ear uh, shot grenade cannon. Oh my god, this thing goes crazy. I wouldn't put an S because stun needles just better in like ninety percent of cases. But honestly, it might be S. This is like this is a weird. This is the like high this A tier for me. This weapon not is S -tier. insane. It's your radius goes crazy, especially on hits lat. you no matter what especially you do. If you're lat. even an inch close to the ground, even if you dodge out of the way. Because bazookas don't do defender netcode. They should be defender netcode. Please, please be defender netcode. I really hope they fix that. Because if I dodge a bazooka shot, I should dodge a bazooka shot. This thing Make will it the same code as the missiles, please. Every single time. Thankfully, it doesn't Not do every single a time, shit ton of damage, but it does a lot. And has a lot of impact. This thing is really, really, really nasty. It was so good. If yes, you are on I the agree ground. with that. So stay off the I ground. I agree. Remember, should also Definite be the better here. But the the key is that it's yeah. But I, there have been so many times, Tom, where like I'm in the air and I'm quick boosting, and I get hit by a bazooka shot. <laughs> Easily countered by just. Because Don't that, stay I on definitely the should not have hit me stay on my screen. Definitely ground. not hit me on my screen. And thankfully, with coral gens, that's very easy to do for most ACs. The songbirds, slightly more fair. Grenade cannon. Um, songbirds are also like A tier, I'd say. These are solidly A. Ear shots are, a, are like A, maybe S, but these are solidly A. They're like, if I, if I can't fit ear shot on a build because it's too heavy, I'll put on songbirds. These things really, really do pack a punch. Um, but they're easily dodgeable. And there's tons of better punish options. Really good for PvE, though. Easily dodgeable. But I think just for the fact that, you know... The impact damage is crazy. There's better options. These are, We're going to have to... Songbird is, is earshot at home. In C That's kind of how I feel about it. That's crazy. Songbird C tier seems kind of wild to me. I was expecting a, a B on that one. I'll be real. Yeah, no way those are C. No oh way God. those are C. We finally arrived, didn't we? S. I don't even need... I don't even think you guys need an explanation for this one. But I like how me and Oro both decided to do that, by the way. I just said S and went on, and Oro's just like, you know what, y'all need an explanation. You do. I love that. Those are the stun needle launchers. That's Arguably the most broken weapon in the entire game. For some godforsaken reason, they decided to make it. Isn't it fucking funny, by the way? This has nothing to do with the video. But in every Souls game, there's been like one gimmick weapon. Actually, not every Souls game. I think it's like ever since Dark Souls 3 or 2 might have had one, but there's been like a gimmick weapon. Like one game of boss fight. Like in Dark Souls 3, there was the Storm Ruler. And then like in, in Elden Ring, there was the Serpent Hunter. And this game, there's the Stun Needle. Like this is like, this is for the big boss fight. This is the big boss fight weapon. You use this for this one boss fight, that's it. And then in Elden Ring, Serpent Hunter became meta because it was the only thing that didn't get touched. Valor Heart? 
Was Valorheart a, a gimmick weapon? No, Valorheart wasn't a gimmick weapon in DS3. I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about, like, uh, Chainsaw, my god. I'm talking about, like, you use this weapon for the boss fight because it has a special effect in the boss fight. That's what I'm talking about. Like, Stun Needle was the boss fight weapon of this game, and it's meta. And then Elden Ring, Serpent Hunter was the boss fight weapon of that game, and it was meta. It's like... <laughs> the Storm Ruler of this game do seven... So the are also stronger than they should be because attitude recovery doesn't work exactly. That's not that's billion point. damage outside his boss. We're not attitude recovery, uh, system recovery. That's True. what we're talking about. Um, if you land a direct the hit, the stun needle chainsaw. These, I'm so that down. player is bye bye. It may as well delete your save file. It hits so hard. Um, not only yes. does it hit hard, but it has electricity damage, which is already super strong. So if you're not stunned, it stuns you and does a portional percentage of your HP. It's just dumb. Uh, these things are totally broken. Um, half the time, even if you dodge them, they have the AOE blast, so you do take a bit of splash. Um, their projectile velocity is so fast that even on decent connections, if you dodge it, you're still... It's been over two hours, and we've gotten through 35 minutes. We're gonna get hit minutes. with a full charge. 34 minutes. Good fucking work, um, dude. These things are absolutely fucking broken. They're bullshit. Uh, I hate them more than anything. If there was a triple S tier here, I would put it, but we're just going to put an S for now. But not for Zim? Did they say that for Zim? When they talked about uh, doing a triple S tier? Because I say Zim, Stun Needle is um, probably the, like, the meta. The I most meta ass shit in the world. They need a nerf. More than anything in the game, in my opinion. More than anything in the game is, is a bit much, though. I'd say Zim's... I, I'd say it's second. Like, Zim is... Zim is Triple S, Zim is triple S tier, stun needles like SS tier, and then everything else. Um, yeah, they are they're nasty. On to the yeah, laser cannons. Yeah, two bug. That's true. Um, all of the laser cannons. LCS is fine. It's this different one's purposes. crazy though. LCS um, is fine. Different powers. Okay. Um, but they all Probably function B. relatively the same. Um, the first one is just a normal one. The second one is a triple, Ugh. and the third one is a sort of a shot. The LCA is fucking crazy, by the way. I could see this in tournaments. Like, definitely. I could see this winning a tournament. Like, LCA does a billion fucking damage. Like, it's not as much as Stun Needle, but it's close. LCA is ridiculous. Thing is, S, 1000%. Shotgun. Um, Good all fucking of them lord, are LCA. Super strong. These are some of the best punish options in the entire game. These things are all slept on so much. And thank God they are, because they are super annoying to deal with. Um, their projectile velocity yeah, is near instant because they're LCA, a laser. There you go. Um, so you can right punish there. from basically any range. Um, the shotgun ones are devastating Smoke, in close double range. LCA post and again, their, their charged crazy. attacks are basically one shot. It's way too. LCD is also no, no, not LCD. It's the uh, the facade here is fucking crazy. Can dodgeman highlight either exactly, Daypixel exactly, and a direct hit. It will destroy someone's health if not outright kill them especially if you have two of these on your shoulders um these are some of the best punish yeah they're extremely heavy tools in the game why people don't run them. Uh, i'm putting them all no doubt but i will say it they're extremely heavy to the point you only see double lca on like on like the heaviest tank treads like you can't um, really run in them my in mind quad. Into that's tier. the problem i would put i would put this one s definitely uh, this one's close because this one you run this one quad laser a now lot. Now we're on to the plasma but I'd say, cannon. Like, the plasma cannon's really I'd say cool. LRB is but... probably more. Fasan goes. I actually I have a vid with with, with the Fasan. This thing's directed damage is fucking crazy. It's not meta, mind you, but I say it's probably a tier. This thing it goes fucking crazy. It suffers from again slow projectile velocity and um. Fasan you know, is wild as a stagger punch. Long reloads. Uh, the whole shebang. It they're just not amazing but they're not bad uh definitely underrated uh throw them right into b tier now on to the i won't die on this hill it's cannon. fine uh again with all this thing's bad this thing's bad i'd probably if there, if we were in a shield meta i'd probably run this over like a, a bubble gun on my Pulse back guns. but this is like this is a this is a purely how good our shields weapon if shields are really good use it if shields are really bad don't use it which, by definition of my tiers over there, probably A tier, I'd say. Because it's off meta, but you might see it in tournaments. And the Pulse Cannon included. They're very For niche, bubble guns. very situational. Uh, this one, even more so. However, it's not so bad as... 
Now again, this is, I'm gonna say this every single time it comes up. This is why context is really important in the tier list. If my tiers are over there, y'all can see my tiers. Y'all can see like what is really important to me when it comes to a tier list. Because of my tier definitions, it's A tier. Because you might see it in put it in D tier, but we're gonna throw it right where it belongs in C tier. The Pulse Shield Launcher, however, is... This thing's really funny. This might be the funniest weapon in the game because if you walk into it, you take a billion fucking damage or impact damage. It's really, it's really fun. surprisingly good. Um, this thing puts up a shield that you can sort of hide behind and peek around cover. It, it's so fun. This weapon, I feel like, is B tier for now. This thing, this is a for now kind of situation. I feel like this is a very high skill ceiling. It's basically exactly. a Talon. free right. cover wherever you are. This weapon might be really fucking annoying in the future. People understand how to use it. Like, um, good lord. It blocks bullets. It blocks all sorts of stuff. Um, and it lasts for quite a long time. Um, these things are slept on. This is super underrated, but not A tier. B tier, 100%. I would like to see more people take use of this because it is very good, especially for this bursty sort of shotgun. I use this in a, in my video, by the way. I, I made a video about this, and the intro of that video is me blocking two coral shields like back to back hey, with this weapon. Uh, it's so meta. fucking funny. Or got coral shields. We're in missiles. right now. It's so now funny. we're on to the light wave cannon aura. Uh, this thing is ass. This thing is ass. How the fuck are we supposed to use this thing? This thing is D tier as fuck. I can't uh, fucking thing. make this thing work. It's the coolest looking missile in the entire game. I fucking love how these things thing look. Sucks. But this man, thing is so bad. It is ER cosplayer star shower at home. It be is like basically unusable. Uh, the tracking is terrible. When it does track, it does zero damage, next to none. Um, Magic it's really missile. cool though. It's super cool and it pairs well with the moonlight sword because it just it's like cool little light beams, but it, it fucking sucks. It's trash. Who am I getting? It's straight D tier. Yep, now we I have agree. the missile Clearly. launchers. Uh very straightforward. They shoot missiles forward. So MLT MLT4 is okay. I'd probably put it in B or uh, or C. I actually probably put it in C because it's outclassed by MLT6. I think MLT6 is the best of all of them because its recharge time is the fastest. MLT-10 is, like, fine. I'd probably put these two in C, and this one in B. That's probably why I would do Ford, it, I'd uh, say. Super good for when you're stunning people, direct hit damage, but really not a great op. MLT-6 is just awesome. I just would never see in the tournament. Um, I think these missiles are definitely going to go into C tier. Uh, and honestly, split that dual hurts. and vertical missile launchers are sort of... All of them are ass. All of them are D. Split and dual and vertical missiles, they're all so fucking bad. They're gone. They're, the they're out of here. Except for the plasma vertical missile, which hopefully that we get to in a second. Hopefully Oro gets to that. Because plasma missile launcher is probably in Both. B tier. They're they're not Dual four missile launcher? Is great, that one good? But they're not bad. Uh I don't think any of them deserve B tier. So we're gonna throw them all into C tier. They put a little bit of pressure on your opponent. And they're not bad if you don't have anything else to slot in, but there are way better options. The active homing missile launchers are actually... I've never tried them, so I have no idea. Fastest reload in the game. Really? I'm gonna have to try it out then. The dual fit for missile launcher has the fastest reload in the game. I'm gonna have to try good. it out. That sounds fun. Uh, never tried them before. Uh, these no things idea. are, again, slept on, underused, and underrated. Um, their Maybe tracking seems to last for an eternity, and when they do hit you, they hit pretty damn hard. They're a really good option uh, for, for a build that puts on a lot of pressure. These are a joke, instant F. Okay, so chat's saying that's an F. Sure, with other weapons. Mm. Uh, I think these definitely deserve B tier. BMLL G2 P19 SP LL12 has insane values. The dual, and the dual special. Okay. We can try that out. The I'll, container we'll missile that launcher we might look terrifying, but it really. This thing is bad. This thing is bad. This thing is bad. That's a that's he a D tier for me. Maybe they're a whack unless someone forgets about them and they followed them for ten seconds. Uh, it shoots out a bunch of little missiles after one big missile, and they sort of spread out and track Ooh. opponents. But uh, I don't know. They don't seem great. They really, really don't seem great. I'm gonna put this in C tier, especially for the weight. It's just not worth it. 
a lot of these missile yeah. launchers uh, sort of suffer the same. Dude, I would love to make delivery boy work, but how are we supposed to make it work? What is the purpose? What do we do with you? How do we make you do anything, delivery boy? How do we make you do even the slightest amount of something? It's just this is like the this is like a PVE weapon. This is like a PVE weapon. If the PVE weapon wasn't good in PVE, same fate. Uh, the delivery boy. This thing is D. Uh, is super cool. Again, it, it shoots up missiles in the air and then it rains down. Um, but it's just too damn slow. The whole thing is just too damn slow. Too telegraph. People are gonna walk out of that. It takes an hour. Um, I I am not a fan, especially in PVP. Uh, I delivered for the we'll barely does its job. Into yeah. Into C tier. Seems like a three v three meme when you shoot it, your buddy's stun locking with a slicer. Honestly, that could be really fucking funny. I will say, Disco, that'd be really like imagine. So if someone's getting like twin bladed, someone's getting slicered, and you just fucking just shoot a delivery boy at them. That'd be so fucking funny. I would actually love that. Worse than USPS. I I mean, yeah, USPS is horrible. Now we're on to the I, I agree with that. That the locking on makes it worse than if you didn't lock on. Yeah, because like they all like go into them, but also go into them with like no fucking tracking. scatter it's missile so launcher. Uh, the soup is fun as fuck. I love soup. I think it's one. I think it's probably the second best shoulder missile launcher when it comes to like uh, heavyweight builds. I fucking love soup. I think soup is great. They'll probably put it in uh, A, probably off meta, but you'd see in tournaments. Like you would just run coral is the thing. You just run coral. Coral is just better. So why would you just? A lot of people coral? use them, but they're really, really not good. They're super easy to dodge. Um, Who don't love some chicken noodle? I think all of these, these missiles. Let me, talk, let me just go on a rant real quick. Why are these things called soup? They could have called them literally anything else. But they called this them soup. really just. They're not great. They put a little bit of pressure on your opponents, but not enough Ugh. compared to other stuff to justify. Uh, being on your shoulders, being a top tier slot on your shoulders. Oop. So I think I'm going to throw the soup. It's a Carla Unfortunately, thing? Unfortunately, oh, right okay. where it belongs in C tier. The detonating missile launcher, the jab. All the rad parts, all the rad Carla parts are related to food. Huh. Javelin beta. That's fucking cool. Uh, this thing I is know that. fuck. This thing is fucking fun. I love this weapon. I think, I think honestly, it might be, it could be, it's a high B, maybe low A. Javelin beta is so fucking fun. Being I trashed. love this weapon. It looks really cool because like zooms around and has a delayed explosion. But by the time it gets to your opponent, they're already gone. Uh, I've seen people really try to make this work by hiding it with like a flamethrower and stuff. And you're better off using just about. Well, that makes me sad. <laughs> yeah, I made a whole video with this and uh, and it was it went really fucking hard. Anything else? This thing basically serves no purpose at all uh it actually serves a very good purpose the uh the tracking is really good on it and it does a lot of stagger damage i don't think i've ever so uh that's the that's the purpose been hit of by it. it and if i did i, I will personally hit probably you uninstall it. <laughs> how do you make it work uh so i did a build uh that seventh dream leader who's in chat right now came up with called the uh, it's called i called it the rancetsu trapper that's not their name but uh i did the rancetsu rf with that and basically what you would do is you would fire it in the opponent's face and then what happens is the javelins would loop back around and track back towards the opponent. They do like a weird, like a loop thing. And then while you're backing away, holding S and shooting the the uh, the RF, they'll like get hit by it. I don't want Oro to un uninstall. Straight up. Let's not be And we're here, on okay? to the Trunos, the needle missile launcher. These, these things are S. These things are fucking crazy. These things are absolutely fucking crazy. Things are insane. Um, they are starting. Can you use it later today? I'm probably gonna end streamer for this. I've been live for five hours and I got work starting today. Starting to see some use in the meta. I've seen all. We've been recording for two hours and 30 minutes. But Cypress, I, I do this every single day at 10 a.m. CST. So I'll probably do this again uh, tomorrow. I can, I can run the build tomorrow. I'm A lot with of that. people starting to use them, uh, in myself included. Um, need a mega nerf, I think. I feel like they just need. It, it, try, Trinos are weird. Trinos are really fucking weird because they're like, they already have an extremely long charge time. I guess you maybe, but if you make the projectile slower or worse tracking, it'd just be useless. I feel like it's just a damage nerf would be fine. You know what I mean? Their projectile velocity weird. is near instant. Uh, the direct hit damage is nothing to That's scoff too much at exactly. either. Also, what's up, GDS? Um, How you doing? They're dude? super lightweight. Hey, Crazy Moogle. Dude, hell yeah. I'm, they're, yeah, they're, every day there's a fight club. Super every single day. Saturday, maybe not, because Saturday I'm going to the Renaissance Fair. Uh, so I'll have to make sure y'all know about that. But Friday, uh, 
but like every single day, unless I specify otherwise, there will be a fight club. Easy to every throw on two of these on your back and have free pressure. Um, they do give a uh, note of subcon. Thanks to the fall gamer, appreciate it of it coming. But on a, on a shitty connection, sometimes they come out without warning. I do Saturday sometimes. Saturday's like usually like what, what I want it to be an off day, but like uh, the <laughs> the Queen's Guard, they're in for dude. Hell yeah, that's awesome, crazy move. And uh, that's sort of when they become an issue. Um, yeah, Saturday's just a bad stream day. Like most most uh, most like uh, most streams get bad views on on Saturday. It's really weird. I guess because people are out doing these stuff. These things you know? are insane. Uh, again, they're they're missiles, so they track as well on top of their. I really hope he puts some nests here, by the way, because he's talking them up a lot, and I think these things are absolutely Super broken. <laughs> I, I don't know, Crazy Moogle, I'll be honest with you. I'm mostly just going because my friends are going to um, go, so I'm going. I, I like Renaissance Fairs, and I'm getting away from the topic of the video very much stuff here. But uh, I'm not, like, super keen on buying some stuff that I'm not going to ever use. They are some of the you know best I mean? options in the game. Uh, I think this 100% deserves S tier, right next to our stun needle. Even though the stun needle is a way, nice. way better yeah. version, I agree with these that. are, like the almost balanced version of them but they're so unbalanced that they're still s tier they're they're nuts all right we have the plasma missile launcher and then the vertical version of the our shields good have everyone made use of them so in the in the week one tournament morian blues uh morian plus i don't know how to say the name sorry about that but uh more more iron there was this guy named cody or they're, they're still in the community i assume but they were running a tank build with coral shield on it and it was fucking insane like Cody got second place in that tournament because their shield play was just fantastic. Shields are ridiculous and they're very much slept on. I, I highly recommend you, you pick up a shield. Especially if you're running a lightweight, because that's how you make lightweights work. Kinda work in this game. They're just again, you just get stat checked sometimes. But shields are really good on lightweight. Cannot the recommend plasma it missile launcher. Coral shield plus a uh, double stun gun is a very meta build right now. So keep that in mind. Coral shield plus double stun gun is like amazingly broken it's so um good. the plasma missile launcher itself really isn't too great um i'm gonna go ahead and put it into these things i would say before they do their thing i'd probably put them in like c they're like just weak in general more young clothes thanks again thank you by the follow i appreciate where's her heart more young clues thanks for the follow by the way appreciate it please tell me how to say your name before i butcher it even more <laughs> just because it's you know goes straight yeah, they're, it's very they're just, telegraphed they're great. people can see it coming people can dodge very easily it's good for punishes but again better options Ooh. um however the vertical, vertical plasma launcher, would probably be B. Uh, of the plasma variant is slapped on these things are really really good very, they very seemingly strong. have super high tracking they stay in the air for far too more long more air saturation so how i use plasma missiles and i have this on my sword more 2.0 build that i put on youtube this is i have a, I have a better like 3.0 version of it right now or i guess 2.1 whatever you want to call it i don't really care uh plasma, plasma missiles are very good at keeping up stagger build up because they have a really short rate charge time and they're very consistent that's the thing so if you want to keep your opponent from getting their attitude recovery off every keep, time i see one of those go missiles. out i start to panic because i know they're gonna hit me um super yeah, strong they're extremely super consistent. good any any super powerful stuff not really um i think they just they belong in b tier they belong in b tier they're very good options now we're on to the coral missile launcher this thing is insane the tracking best shoulder missile in the game by far easy s tier extremely s tier these things chunk you so much they're basically like the elden stars of this game but if elden stars was insane Core missiles are fucking insane and should probably be nerfed pretty dang heavily. Is ungodly. The damage, yeah, it's a tactical nuke. It's going to delete you from the planet if it hits you. Um, and it never it's stops so much chasing damage. you. Uh, when I say the tracking is good, it, it is so hard to dodge if you're not a lightweight. Um, it's a good game if you don't have timer, cover, exactly. if you're on a, a bad map, you're basically dead when these come out. Uh, especially if they have something when? else like the oscillator. To follow up and try to hit you with um with pressure uh on teams in 3v3s on anything these are just nasty um definitely one of the best shoulder units in the entire game uh every time you see these things you should be scared for your life because they are going to come after you and they are going mm -hmm. to hurt you 100 yeah, percent they're, they're absolutely the crazy missiles all right we got the bullet orbit huxley next these things are <laughs> insane 
I fucking love the Huxleys. I say they're definitely A tier. I fucking love these things. They're becoming my favorite shoulder weapon in the entire game. I love the Huxley. It, it's so fun. They're so cute as well. I fucking love how cute these and things they are. They are slept on. They yeah, are I love build Huxleys. enablers. They make weapons that normally aren't great really great because they just give you just a little more impact to get that stun out. Those super long. What you can do, Sakushi, so it's not a reload, it's an overheat. If you put your Huxleys back into your back pocket, they have a lot less cooldown time. Keep that in mind. I use Huxley. The Huxleys are so fun. And allow you to... So, before they actually overheat, you got to put them back. To you sort of... That. Uh... No, I put... A, I fucking suck. God dang it. Remove. Can I do remove black term? Oh my gosh. Whatever. Sorry about that. Uh, I accidentally did add block term, I will kill you. I fucked up and clicked on the wrong thing on Automod. It's whatever. Really, really get those punishes, the stagger punishes out way easier. Um, these things are A tier. You told yourself I did, yeah. Because they are super strong. Their tracking is good. They have high impact. Um, and if you can manage them smartly, um, their cooldown isn't that bad. If you let them run out, then you have to wait a super long cooldown. But with skill and, you know, a bit of attention, you can uh, put them back and pull up. Exactly, what, what, what Orbo was saying here is 100% true. You basically just put it back into your back pocket. And it's just, it, they're so fun, dude. I Please use these more. They're so very, fun. Very quickly, so very efficiently, um, especially in burst, in um, builds that go in and out of combat. Um, this is where, this is where the bullet orbit shines. Uh, super underrated. Uh, try them out. They're nuts. Now onto the laser orbits. Unfortunately, not. These are these are not as good as Huxley's, but they're not like. Where do you put Huxley's, by the way? You put them in a tier. That's fine. I don't. I'm not gonna die on that hill. Um, orbits are like. <sighs> they're okay. They're not terrible. They're just worse than Quite Huxley. Quite as powerful as the bullet orbit. Um, they also don't Z. benefit like from outlast. the energy stat on your generator. They are Pray flat no damage, uh, which is a little disappointing, but they're not bad. They're really not bad. Thank you, Tom. Um, I think that. these are definitely a B tier option, uh, without a doubt. Not as good as the Huxleys for what they do, but they do quite a bit of damage. Not bad. The laser turret. Uh, How do you make these things work? I've tried multiple times and I was never able to. I think these are probably D tier. Like I, I can't find uh, a way to make these things work. This thing is really cool, but people can just, just walk away. You know, like it, yeah, the uh, speed is so it, low. I'm sad about it. I'm really sad about it. I don't think it's very good at all. We're gonna put it in C tier because it's just, it's just not great. Now on to the laser drones. <laughs> these things are. Now these are S tier. These are fucking crazy. These things do a billion direct hit damage. These, especially charged. These that keep up your stagger for you for free. They are so fucking good. Super nutty. Not quite S tier, but 100% A tier. I definitely disagree with that. These are S tier as fuck. These are some of the best shoulder weapons in the entire game. These are fantastic. Unreasonable. That's a good fucking point subject. That's a, that's a good way to put it. They are unreasonably Charging strong. them up makes them do They're about so 7 good. billion damage to your enemies. They track like no other. If your opponent doesn't dodge or they're stunned or they're in any sort of combo, this is probably going to kill them outright. Combined with two of them. Yeah, the laser drones are absolutely fucking crazy. Mud Kipple, uh, this is a 15 minute video and the recording that I have for the reaction is two hours and 35 minutes. <laughs> So if you're wondering if we're just like doing the pulling an XQC and just watching a video, you're very wrong. We have been ranting, we have been talking about everything. Like just tier lists in general, like everything. Like it is it is kind of insane. It's been two hours and thirty-six minutes, dude. Holy fuck. And you got something really, really <laughs> nasty. Hundred percent A tier. Uh thankfully these are slept on. Thankfully, not about a lot of people charge them up fully. Uh, so they don't do their maximum damage, but my god, they're... It depends. So you want to use the laser drone charge when you're going for direct hit damage dagger. But if you are, uh, if you are, if you are doing, um, if you are trying to just keep your stagger build up going, then they're actually better just to leave them, just to launch them, because they have, it's more drones for more hits. So if you're running a, a high 
stagger damaging like main hand weapon like the dual quaquets, you'd run the laser dragons with the laser dragons, laser drones without charge in the middle. That's what I would Super do. Super strong. One Just to keep your stagger going. The best options in the game, hands down. Then why is it A tier? Now we're on to the shields. The pulse shield and the pulse buckler serve very similar purposes. What's up, Artinos, by the way? I, I, I am doing a world's tier list. I'm going to ask them before I upload it. I'm going to ask them before I, uh, I, I upload it, Artinos. I don't want to upload this without Oro's consent because that's very important for me. Because uh, I've been, I've, I've more than like doubled, almost tripled the length of this this tier list because I have so much to say on it so it's very transformative it's not just me watching a content and not saying anything but like I just I want to make sure they're okay with it first especially since I did say some mean things about it but again I love Oro I've been watching him for years he's a fucking awesome dude um each of them sort of blocks damage uh and impact damage while they're up and extra damage if so I'd say this is probably one of the better uh tier list probably the better shields in the game I almost said the better tier list but that, that, that's not what I meant at all it's probably one of the better shields in the game. This one right here. I don't know if he's going to show off all of them, but this is probably one of the better ones. This one has the highest skill potential, the buckler down here. It's pretty dang good, actually, but it's hard to actually play with. I'd say like all of these are like, okay. This one's probably my favorite of all of them because it has a good, uh, just regular Dora, good, uh, like impact damage reduction on it. If you just hold it, Scootum is crazy, which I believe is this one right here. I believe that's the Scootum. Scootum might become an issue, but then again, we have, you know, hard counter stuff to get around. You have uh, an initial sure. guard, which is the second you guard, uh, you get sort of a boost, and the time frame is different per shield. It's a whole thing. These are all super, super strong. Um, I don't know why, why I have that? two pulse bucklers, but we're going to deal with it. Uh, all of the pulse shields uh, for now. Uh, all of the pulse shields, uh, for now, Fine, whatever. are going straight to B tier. Now, honestly, now we're on to wait, the did pulse he put shield there too? Okay, cool, okay, cool, cool. Give me a terrible game, I agree. So, these shields right here, I'd say probably would be, like, not A tier. Actually, you know what? I'd say they'd be B tier on my tier list. Well, again, I don't know what the context is for Oro's tier list. I feel like I've said that, like, two billion times in this one video. But... You don't want to like, you want to have context for your tier list. Cause mine, like just being, you know, my tiers over there, as you can see, you know, overall weak but out class doesn't fit for these, but strong, but you wouldn't see in a serious game. That might work with this. Cause you just run Coral Shield. You know what I mean? You might see the starting shield in Tornus just cause it's very strong. Like I run it on my main build. Like maybe I'll put that one in A and then the rest of them in C, but I'm not sure. Or the rest of them in B, but I'm not sure. Really, I, I don't really, I don't know these shields by heart. I'd have to look Ow. into them. No, it's just primal armor. It's broken. Yeah, coral shield is going crazy. Straight to B that is definitely an S tier. Now we're on to the pulse scutum. This one's weird. I would put this at like low A. Like it's pretty, it's pretty rare to see in tournament, but I can see it definitely being really well on like a wheelchair build. This thing is in really, really good. Super underrated, but it works very differently. Uh, you have to charge it for a full four seconds to get the full effect of the shield, but when it's is up, wild. it is stronger than all of them. I believe it's 86% damage negation and like 88%, maybe it's 84% impact damage negation. It's fucking crazy. It's something like that. Like it is, it's a fucking them. crazy ass shield. Um, Scootum is wild. It's really, really powerful. Uh, however, this means that you can't dodge, you can't uh, do any quick boost action because you're which is why you run it on wheelchair, because you don't need the dodge Shield's going to go down, and it's going to lose that four, full four-second charge. You're going to have to recharge it again. So you have to think, okay, am I going to bl block this attack, or is this worth the dodge? Uh, you know, incoming Karasawa or the needle launcher or something nasty. Um, however, again, it's super strong when it's up and builds like reverse joints that can rely on jumping uh, or quads that can just hover in the air are really not good enough to put it in A tier, but solid B because of the downsides. Oh boy. This thing's S tier. This thing's fucking crazy. The Bumblebee build like is just fucking ridiculous. This is, this is Coral Shield's S tier. Uh, there's not much to say. You can use both weapons where you have it out. It's just, it's ridiculous. The Coral Shield, the final weapon. This is very, very fitting because this thing is super controversial. It is super powerful. 
It blocks from all sides. It's like a Super Smash Brothers block. You can't get hit by missiles. You can't get Red hit by Primal anything. Armor if you game put defining. this up. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is one of the best tools in the entire game. Even if you're shit I agree. at timing, even if you just hold it up, the damage mitigation it gives you just brainlessly is is light shielding an armor core. Uh, it's immeasurable. It's it's. There's not much else to really say here. I mean, Coral Shield is just really fucking seriously good. Seriously, God tier. Like, I'm just, I, I'm, um, I, I, can't I can't really say anything any else. Like, it, it's pretty obvious why it's, that why it's fantastic. Destroys so many builds by just being able to block an obvious burst of a Zimmerman, of a stun gun, of any missile barrage, of any anything in the game, um, especially after a stagger, and you're still red for a second. If you pop this up. You're not going to take any more damage, even though, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, you might I know. for all shields, but this is especially true of the Coral Shield. Um, this thing is seriously, seriously insane. Yeah, I, the reason I don't run Coral Shield on my builds is because it takes like, it takes so long to come back whenever you're done with Strong. it. Um, S tier without I'd still say a it's single down. Oh, and that's everything. I think we're, we're finally done. That took a while. <laughs> that took a while for you. My recording's two hours and 45 minutes, homie. Took a while for you. You guys are still up. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And again, this tier list is just my opinions. Just my opinions, man. Um, so don't get mad at me. Don't take this as truth because it's not. It is just one man's opinion that has played way too much Armored Core uh, for the past three weeks only. So these opinions might change. Patches will definitely change this. And I will definitely make updated videos as they do. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Again, everyone, I love you all. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. I could do my own weapon tier list, but I just, I don't know enough. That's the issue. Did this go down? No, like, if I were to make a tier list for this game, I'd be too late because I'd be playing with everything, trying to make sure the most, make the most accurate tier list possible. So by the time I'm done with it, we're going to get that fucking PvP patch, and then everything's going to change. You know what I mean? Whatever the PvP patch, then do one. But the, again, I have to play with all the new stuff and the whole new game. I, so it's the, the thing is, if Duelism's get nerfed, it'll be a completely different, a completely different game. Because the whole game revolves around Zim. The Discord call and have a forum. Honestly, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. I'll talk about it in today's video. I'm going to start a podcast soon for Alma Core 6. Be fun. Exactly. And like they, and like our, oh bro, you know, they're full time content creators as far as I know. Because I hope so, because they, they should hopefully get, get a decent amount for this. And for streaming and stuff like that, they have like a thousand viewers when I have to have, you know, 60, 70. But like you, you, we need context. That's like the biggest thing for this, for like me. It's like, I don't know what you mean by this stuff. It's very inconsistent with hearing, like, why is Gatling gun up there when you said it was terrible and it was easy to play around? Like, why is Gatling up there with something like Huxley and Laser Drone and LCA? And like, I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. But all in all, I don't know, man. The fact that it's not ordered, the fact that it, it just, it makes me so upset. It's like, it, it makes me so upset because like, it's not ordered. It's not ordered. It's not, no, it's not PvP PvE. It's just PvP. This is the PvP tier list. They haven't, they mentioned PvE every once in a while. They would say like, it's good for PvE, but it's bad for PvP. So let's put it in C tier. They have not mentioned PvE being the reason they're putting something up there at all. This is a PvP tier list. It's not ordered. The tiers don't mean anything. Besides like S tier being meta. It's like... It, it just makes me mad. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording here. I'm gonna stop the stream here. And I will, uh, and I will go raid somebody. I will mess with this in the editor, in the editor. I mess with this in Pro Pro. See if I can make a video out of it. I'm going to also contact Ouroboro on like Twitter or something like that and be like, hey, are you okay if I do this? I do get mad at you sometimes, but I also keep, I also make sure they always say that I'm a big fan of your content, stuff like that. 
You know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna message him about it. Maybe send him a clip or two of the video, something like that. Oh hi! How you doing, Oroboro? How you doing, bud? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Orbo. How you doing, dude? I uh, I liked your tier list. If you can't tell by my fucking recording, y'all can barely see this, but like, it's two hours and fifty minutes on there <laughs> on the recording. So I definitely had a lot of say. Uh, how you doing, Oro? You doing well? You having a good time? You enjoying Armor Core Six? <laughs> He's standing right behind me, isn't he? We'll have a script the next time. The, mo the main thing that I was upset at you about is that, like, you see, if you look at my tiers, if you look at what I'm doing, is I have uh, very well-defined tiers, and, like, the stuff was, like, uh, like, with my tier definitions, the bubble weapons were all in A tier, because if someone's running a tier, a, a, a shield build, by the rules of how tournaments work, where, like, the winner can change, they can't change their build, but the loser can, you would actually see them in tournaments before. And the tier side is yellowed it. I mean, I completely get that, dude. I completely do. So, like, you would basically... Like, we need them to be ordered. That's really important. Because the fact that, like, Gatling Gun is top of A, if I was a new player and I was like, I want to know what weapons are really strong in Armor Core 6, I might not watch the whole thing. I might just go straight to the end. Or I might look it up and see it on Reddit or something like that. And I will see, uh, and I will just see, like, you know, Gatling Gun in A tier. I'm like, okay, Gatling Gun's really good. When in the video you talk about how Gatling Gun isn't very good, and then you put it in uh, like A tier, and if I think the tier list is ordered, Gatling Gun seems to be one of the best weapons in the game. <laughs> don't hey y'all, y'all don't Grum Grum be nice to Oro please. Appreciate this a lot. I I'm trying. I really am passionate about this game, and I would I really want to. I want to make sure the game lasts as long as possible. That's why I'm doing content for it. That's why I'm doing. I, I do a PvP fight club every single day with a uh, with a rule set. Also, I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. I talked about this a lot in the video. I'm a big fan of yours. I'm watching you for years, like for like five or six years now. I'm a big fan, by the way. Just letting you know. Uh, Y'all should definitely follow Ouroboro. But I'm I'm I want I want to make sure I I get the, my point across that and not. I did not want to react to this in the first place because I just didn't want to cause drama. Uh, but I, I want—I didn't want to react to it in the first place. I don't want to cause drama. Drama is like the worst thing you can have in a community like this. Like, you—you you don't want to be at each other's throats. Like, there was a uh, there's a two Elden Ring YouTubers and content creators that I am I'm, I'm good friends with, Stilovsky and Montage. They wanted to have a fake beef where it was super obvious that it was a joke, and yet both of them got hate from the other's community. Because they don't understand that it's a joke. That it's a joke. That's a, that's a, it's a, a friendly kind of beef or a friendly kind of uh, back and forth. Like, Montage got so many comments talking about how, like, he's a trash creator compared to Steel. It's just, it, it just, it, it was awful. It was so bad. But anyway, I didn't want to cause drama. That's why I was going to reach out to you about it. But that, you're here, so I don't have to. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad. I'm going to hopefully be able to take this down to like less than two hours is my hope but it's two hours and 53 minutes right now so i guess i got a lot of editing to do i'm gonna go ahead and raid somebody or thanks for hanging out dude that was fucking it's fucking awesome to see you here